Hi. Hi, Kristen. Hello, everyone. All right. Let's do this shit. I, I can see the chat on, like, last time. <laughs> on, like, last time. Uh, who should, who should, Cassidy, I'm wondering, do you have any specific character from the Mario series that you particularly enjoy? Mm, yeah, I, uh, Yoshi. I like Yoshi. <laughs> you're, you're not gonna, you're not gonna consider any other character that maybe no. you could enjoy just a little bit more? <laughs> I'm picked easy. Okay. Wait. Standard DS. Yo, let's go. I'm playing oh, no. this on a DS. It's a Definitely. Great bulky thing. Oh wait, we already did the 50 CC. What am I doing? Get out of here. Hundred, baby. I do like her Jeep or whatever that is. It's not a oh, Jeep. It's, what am I saying? It's it's like a like a convertible, right? Like. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. It's like old. Yo, main lady, let's go. Yo, shout out to Daisy. She's one of the more busted characters in Wii, so that's a point for her. <laughs> Defender of Chaos. I would say Pauline, but she's stuck in the mobile game right now. Roasted. Yeah. Hey, Mario Kart 9 could still happen. Whatever mm. the next one is, I'm just saying. Get your hopes up. Oh, you know what? They already made Mario Kart 9. It's home circuit. Oh, shit. Uh, Error loading heroes lot. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I forgot I made the bumpers the R and L button. Uh oh. Oh shit, Rob Snakin. He's got he's on lock. I I'm really bad at it though. Uh, <laughs> she deserves next main game roster. She does. Yeah. It'll happen. It'll happen. Just gotta give it time. I wonder, I feel like when we get nine, like they'll put in a bunch of the characters that are in tour, but they're not going to include like any of the costumes. Those are staying in tour. Yeah. You know what I could see them uh, doing is like for the next game, they'll, they'll, they'll do what you said, right? But any costume stuff would be like DLC. Yeah. That you have to like pay for. Although we did that whole stream where uh, we spent like an hour making like the perfect Mario Kart game. Yeah, and, but uh, like we didn't put in our own characters. We just used whatever ones they gave us. Yeah, but like, you know, based on what we had to work with, I feel like we made a pretty yeah. good game, you know, like in terms of like content and whatnot. I want to look behind me all the time, but I can't do that in this game. Yeah, I hate that. You can only, you can only do that in Wii and 8 and Tour. Wait, you can do that in tour? There's a small button for it, yeah. Can't so, like, play that game with one hand. You can accidentally, like, you'll accidentally just start turning while holding it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's not in seven. I feel like seven could easily handle the like a with behind you button. Yeah, it's but with seven, they they missed a lot of things in seven. Yeah, they just wanted the Mario Kart on um, launch here. And they certainly did it. Kristen asks, uh, do you have a favorite track in this game? Oh, in this game? Hmm. I am fond That's of the hard. Rainbow Road in this game, but I don't know. There's a lot of decent tracks in this game, right? Like, well, yeah, I, there's a lot I like. <clears throat> Which ones do you like, then? Um, I really like Delfino Square, Luigi's Mansion. In Peach's Garden, those are like the three for me. You, you know what? Like, those are definitely all up there for me. I know it's a retro track, but I love Sky Garden too. Oh, but, Sky Garden's great. But I mostly love that for the music. N nothing wrong with the track design. I just, God, that music gets me. I like that one. Uh, I like the shortcut one. They're really fun to pull on. Oh, yeah, for sure. Why do mushrooms not feel hype in this game? Um. Like, oh, we made they the character model oh. move faster. Actually, I think from what I heard, mushrooms barely boost you on, like, regular road. They own, they're they only useful for going straight. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kristen knows what's up. D 
Dude, I just fucking got gnarly on Bowser. He didn't live. Also, I really want to shout out um, Shroom Rage. No one talks about that track, but I think it's fun. Shroom Rage is cool. It's just, for me, I don't really... Like, there's no pizzazz to that track. Yeah, I just think it's a fun, like... That's fair. Wow, that, that track was over in, like, five seconds. Yeah, this is, uh, I think, the shortest track in the game. Yeah, probably. Either I feel like... it or Mario. Oh, one. that's right. I fucked up. Kristen, Kristen knows what's up. Uh, fucking Mario Pin or Wa 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 Wario Pinball, Waluigi, Waluigi Pinball. Waluigi Pinball is <laughs> So Donkey Kong, am I right? Then no. <laughs> L listen, listen, mustache gamer. I'm gonna shave that shit right off if you say that again. <laughs> Those teeth are the most cursed fucking thing in this franchise. <laughs> I think they're great. <laughs> I think they're ugly. <laughs> DK looks like shit in this game. Oh, they were limited by the hardware. I don't know. He DK just didn't had have. His mouth closed. Yeah, they could have just closed his fucking mouth. I think the idea was that his mouth would have looked really weird closed. But he uh, has it closed all the time. No, but what I'm saying is, like, on the DS, you don't get like attention to detail on models because they're so like they're so iffy you know oh. um well oh. that's okay that's like a very minor complaint I, I have about this game you touch the wall and your entire momentum is dead yeah they they start loosening up and um it's pretty bad in Wii as well but then they are a bit more than you. fuck you Bowser Fuck Peach. Goodbye, Pitch. Fuck her. Damn. <laughs> but they're retractable. <laughs> Shroom Ridge is in the wrong cup. Uh, like you're driving in a desert? Sick. <laughs> Delfino Plaza? Sick. Uh, pinball? Sick. And then you're just like on the highway. Yeah, that makes sense. See, um, I just have a soft spot for, like, the city or highway tracks. Mm -hmm. so I have a soft spot for those. Like, I like, um, Toad's Turnpike I like in 64. I like uh, Mushroom Bridge and Mushroom City. And then I like Moonview Highway. So I'm just a <laughs> suck for that style of track. <laughs> Mustache Gamer, you're breaking multiple laws. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is pretty fun to break mul multiple laws. Not just one, but two, the three, only, at least. Only time I've, only time I've break, broken laws is in Skyrim. Uh, Where I've broken many. Is it? Stop, criminal scum. <laughs> They've murdered a lot of civilians. Uh, <laughs> oh, Moonview moon is from uh, Wii, right? Yeah, Moonview is in the special cup of Wii. It's the second track. <laughs> Overtaking without indicating, and worst of all, littering. <laughs> I'm the litter. Shit, I'm the I'm the sole reason the planet is dying. Mm, too many sprawls. So let's all this room on the left and right that goes nowhere. <laughs> see if cool I can. Track, it is a cool track and I and I mentioned this last time but like you see all the portraits of the yeah. of the bosses and stuff like that's really tight. And they have spoilers the in there but booze. in 7 there's just booze I think. What? Of course yeah. 7 would remove the fun part. Also they added a random glider ramp to the right over there that is not useful. I mean, that's kind of par for the course for 7 and 8, right? Is like, hey, we well, had this I, thing, I mean, it doesn't like, really do anything. You have to go on the outside of the turn to even do it, so you're wasting a lot of time by using it. There's, they added an extra glider shortcut in the graveyard bit, so that's like the one cool thing they added. Gotcha. They added like a big ramp and go up and glide over the wall. Haha. <laughs> You hear Bowser just having the time of his life mm -hmm. back there. 
How many people died at this mansion? Why does one mansion need a graveyard? <laughs> a lot of people died. It's it's so weird to me that in the actual story for Luigi's Mansion, all of the ghosts you capture in there are unrelated to the mansion itself. Oh, like did, just, King Boo, did King Boo just bring them? No, the Egad lost them all. Like, they oh. just escaped his facility when he... He was already researching the mansion, and then they escaped. Weird. Does that yeah. count for the boss ghost as well? Uh, yeah, because one of the boss ghosts is Chauncey. I don't and know. That, I've never played the first oh. game. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, that it's literally every every ghost that isn't the booze are uh, just like random, unrelated to the mansion people. Weird. Yeah, but most people don't like realize that detail. But like Egad is just like, oh yeah, I already captured them, and then they escaped into the mansion. But I'm not, but I'm not like, I don't live at this mansion. It just showed up not long ago. I can't remember. I know three isn't like a three. It's like, oh, they were already here. Unrelated to you, dad. But I forget mm -hmm. what it was like. In, I know in two, he had like servant ones that escaped. But I feel like the mansions already had ghosts that were chilling. Yeah. All right. There we go. What do we get? Star? Star or better? Yeah, we got star. Let's go. I I love that figure eight took two minutes. That was wild. Figure eight is a pretty long track. Uh, let's go with Boney Boy. Mm, boner Boy. <laughs> yeah, yo, let's go with that that bone, that big old bony. Um, I can't believe it took two versions of eight for them to add this dude. Because he wasn't in base eight or the DLC. He was only in Deluxe. Wait, is it, uh, I forget he's even in that game. Yeah, in Deluxe, the characters they added were um, Dry Bones, Bowser Jr., King Boo, and then the Inklings. Oh. Kind of well, weird Jr. wasn't in base game either. You know what? Kristen brings up a good point. You go from like the sick desert, Mario 3 references, to Sunshine, to Pinball, and then Highway. Pinball should be the last track. Yeah, I, I feel like Shroom Ridge, you just put it at the top and it would have been totally fine. Yeah. I like this track a lot, but I've heard that like in the Wii community at least, this is like, they did, they did like a big poll and this track placed last. Oh, the Desert Hills? Yeah. What about it? I don't, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I don't aren't a fan of it. It's not even bad. It's just you know, it's chill. You know. Yeah, it's it's just a pretty standard desert track. Ah no! Yo ah no! Yoshi falls in we and I hate, I do not like that track. What did Yoshi falls do to you? It's just the it's well. It's more that in the, um, what's the first cup of retro? Is it Shell? Yeah, it's Shell. Yeah. Um, they have two really short tracks. They have Yoshi Falls and a Ghost Valley, and they're both extremely short. Garbage. So it's just, so it's just half, of the, half the cup is short tracks. Oh my god, this dude's acceleration is fucking busted, man. Yeah. Fuck Luigi. He sucks. It's mm. not gonna be in Luigi's Mansion 4. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 4, but he just plays Mario. Saving Luigi from the mansion. That'd be unfortunate. Yeah, you win some, you lose some, am I right? Mm. It's not always okay, it's not always about winning, Cassidy, okay? Okay, okay. Whatever. <laughs> also, I forgot the fireballs don't have eyes in this. They were. They gave him eyes. You mean like a normal video game? They they <laughs> didn't. They didn't feel the need to add a fucking eyeball to everything. What are you talking about? Well, this is based on three, and three has eyes on everything. Yeah, oh, yeah but Kristen... oh, what? what's up? What's up? Oh, I was just gonna say, Kristen. Uh, she says I keep forgetting you can't do tricks in this yet. That was all true. Yeah, they introduced tricks in um Wii and then kept it. Well. 
I only which got is second. funny because trick systems that were in like other kart racers for a long time. And see, that's the thing. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, I just prefer Mario Kart over other kart racers. It's like, you've never played other kart racers, have you? Like, I'm other kart racers are... Yeah, bring up the one you're thinking. I'm gonna see if I'm right. What? I wanna I wanna see if I'm the if I guess right when I when I hear what one you're thinking. Well, my favorite car racer. I don't want to talk about it because of the company it's related to. Ah, okay, yeah, a good point. Never mind. I know what one you're talking about now. But All that right. one is my favorite car. Yeah, my favorite just, is probably. Uh, uh, mine's probably Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform still. Cause that was just oh, so fucking good. Too. That one also yeah. has a trick system. Yeah, and it's better than Mario Kart 8. Don't hit me. Yeah. I mean, I agree. I don't know, just like the, the roster is like really cool and creative and uh, the trick system is cool. And people are like, oh, Dedica Patrick. It's like, yeah, whatever. She sucks ass, but you know, like it's the game is still- like what, 40? No, it's not that high. It's like, it's like maybe 30. Like, that's pushing it. Oh, yeah. It's probably like 32 or something. Not bad. And in the Wii, in the Wii U version, you get Miis. And in the Xbox version, you get Avatars. That's cool, right? Yeah, back when Nintendo and Microsoft actually cared about using those. Uh, they never cared about using those. <laughs> Nintendo made a multiple. Not, Nintendo stuff had a whole franchise dedicated to memes. That's true. They did. And it's still on the I, like because Metopia is on Switch, I guess. And the Nintendo account keeps tweeting about it for some reason. Yeah, they're like whoever runs that Nintendo account just really loves Metopia. <laughs> the marketing cycle for that game ended a year ago, and they don't care. <laughs> it came out less than a year ago. It came out a couple months ago. Yeah, but it feels like a year ago. Okay, that's fair. Because who talks about Metopia anymore? Mm. Who? Name one. <laughs> <laughs> Name them. I'll find them on Twitter. I'll add them. <laughs> I want to play Metopia, but like, I feel like because the me maker is so like, in-depth now, I'm just going to be stuck in that for most of my game time. You joke, but like, unironically, I forgot there was a video game. I thought it was just like a super high-end game yeah, maker. There's a full RPG that's really lengthy. But no one talks about that. Everyone just like memes. Yeah, that's what happens when you put character creators in shit. Oh my god, Daisy is what, what kind of fucking turn was that, Daisy? <laughs> Daisy's out for blood. Why is she so fast? This AI, not a hondo on it, gonna be real. Oh, you got lightning. Yeah, let me just use my insane acceleration. Hang on. This track, this track falls. Can I, can I say that? Yeah, wh why falls. wouldn't you be able to say that? You know what kind of stream this is. I don't know. This is a Rob Arman X branded stream. It's I said your... some stuff on the game of life, and now I'm, I'm worried all the time. You, you know what? That's fair. Don't watch that VOD. I, I think it's a good VOD. No, I, th I, th I don't. I don't agree. Hey guys, hello Jess. Hello, Jess. Jess, go watch the game of life. No, <laughs> shut up. You're the worst. <laughs> You're Let's the play game of life again. I don't know if we should. Super Mustache Gamer, thank you. I appreciate it. Sorry I threatened your mustache. Oh, did they follow or sub? I can't see that. Oh, yeah, they followed. Because cool. I just have to stand up, not the stream itself. Yeah. Oh, here's that red shell. And I don't care because my acceleration is fucking max. <laughs> you can barely hear me. Oh no, what? Alright, hang on. Uh... You can pause I mean, the game. Yeah, yeah, I'll pause the game in two seconds. Uh...
All right, there we go. Okay, hang on. I can, I can, I can get Cassidy a little louder. Hang on. Oop. Ooh. All right, I raised you by twelve percent, so you should be a little. Hello. Better. Hello. Hello. Can right. anyone hear me? Do I? Am I alive? Please go watch the game of life. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're go the worst. The, go watch the Mario Party Three VOD where the internet fucks our asses. Real talk. That that. That sucked. I'm sorry. It's not your what? fault. It's my fault for having crap internet back then. But how is that your fault for having crap internet? It's not like you had a choice. Absolutely. I did live out in the middle of nowhere. But your internet's better now. Haven't I think we, so, yeah. We haven't had any issues with like internet connections since you moved, so. That's true. Or like when uh, I was playing Super Mario Party with some friends. Not the same as netplay but there was like barely any lag it was very minimal ah what oh. the fuck oh well okay i gotta turn this around now yo it's the in <laughs> yo is that just the small intestine <laughs> oh my god that it really it does look like that doesn't it mm -hmm. also apparently i'm still quieter than you but that's fine i mean yeah she's gonna be quieter than me but there's a, I feel like there's a difference between can barely hear her and is quieter than Rob, so I'm not sure which one it is. <laughs> so that's the weird color change in the floor there. All right. That they they, they keep in seven and tour. All right. So you're officially you're too loud for my ears, but. Uh -oh. But here's what I'm going to do. So I turned you way back down again. And then, boop. Cranking you up. Okay, talk, Cassidy. Hello. Welcome to the Gamer Zone. <laughs> the Gamer Zone? <laughs> that's a that's like a, a failed Nickelodeon game pilot in the 90s. Is that really? No, I know that. I think there was. They tried doing some kind of VR uh game show back in the 90s but it didn't pan out Bummer. that's fair uh, custom oh they oh, when they remade this track on oh for seven but not you know for eight like so we never got this track in like cool hd or anything yeah we got a tour version how does that make <laughs> <sighs> i feel like I, I've always come to this close to my chest, but I feel like if a track gets in tour, it's not going to be in nine. But then, like, that's so many tracks they're just going to throw out. No, there's a lot of Wii tracks they haven't touched. And oh, a lot okay, of, um... great. I but I don't <laughs> want I don't want ninety percent of the retro tracks to be there's for a, Wii. <laughs> there's a lot of like GameCube and Wii tracks they haven't touched. It's mostly just a lot of DS and seven tracks. I mean. All right. But like, for example, I don't think Maple Tree Way is going to be in Mario because it was already in 4. Or I don't sure. think DK Stunnet will be in Season 4. Which sucks because I love Stunnet. That, yeah, because that's fair. Tour is not that great. I just know a lot about it because... You play it. I'm trying to play... I'm, I'm, I'm playing less. I'm playing less. I haven't touched it in a few days. I'm just waiting for my subscription to expire. Days? <laughs> well, because they have daily shit, so I would open it every day. Cassidy. But my subscription runs out in like four days, and then I'll, I'll I'm gonna uninstall it. All right, Cassidy. I, it's not my fault. They keep giving me Daisy skins and tempting me. What am I supposed to do? I could easily just ignore it. Oh, I did it! Turned it around. Let's go, let's go. That was clutch. Oh, Don't ever let me say shout that. Out, sh shout out to Lakitu just being a 2D sprite that flies. Yeah, he's doing his best. I'm so proud of him, too.
This was a very dangerous hole, if you think about it. <laughs> oh, oh, yep. I think I like this track so much just because it reminds me of like whenever I'd like go visit family, this is what the highways will look like on the stage. So it Yo, just gives me like a nostalgic that, feeling. That's definitely the vibe I get from it. I love I love like the the long road trip vibe of it. Yeah. Also I'm just a big like I said before, I'm a big fan of any tracks that have pairs on them. I mean, I guess every track has cars on them because we drive them, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that <laughs> it went to dead silence and then you're like, you know what, they all have cars on them. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I no. just had an off I just had an awful thought. What if they made like an all a track in Mario Kart that was you were constantly gliding? Or constant. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't hurt me. That'd just be like some of the tracks in a uh, Diddy Kong Racing default plane. Which is like plane as in P L A N E. Yeah, which is like a fine concept, but like I don't know. I like car racing. The plane. I think the plane racing is fun. It's a bit. It's a bit stiff though. It is a bit stiff. Yeah. That's what she said. Mm, and then the boot, the the boot, the boat is a bit too loose, like slippery. Yeah, I mean, granted, it's in the water, so that makes sense. The water isn't slippery. Is water wet? <laughs> yeah. Is it? Because yeah. like, because it, it makes things wet, but is water itself wet? Yeah. It's kind of like a is cereal like a broth? No, the milk is the broth. Right. Well, oh, sorry. What was I? What am I thinking of? Is cereal milk cereal? Is milk cereal? Is milk cereal? We're getting the fucking analogy fucked up. Is <laughs> cereal a soup and milk is the broth? Does soup have to be hot? Does it? Are we seriously on the is water wet thing? <laughs> yes, Jess. Yeah, because I said water isn't slippery. But it is wet, right? It is wet. Yo, star rank, let's go. What do you want more? Uh, star cup. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I think you don't unlock anything until the last cup of a set of four. The special, like, only special cups and, uh, lightning cups and lock stuff, I think. I'm not sure, actually. I don't remember. I always forget. That's the one thing I can never remember each Mario Kart is how unlocks work. Except Go seven, Luigi. which I do. Seven is weird, because you can only unlock stuff in 150cc. 50 and 100 don't unlock anything. That's weird. Actually, like no. 100 CC unlocks Mies, but that's it. What? Yeah, Mies were unlockable in Wii. Why, in every... why do you have to unlock Mies? You unlock them in Wii 7 and Original 8. That's that's really weird to think about, because in every other game, Mies are just like a default character. Yeah. Here's your Fortress, though. DK Pass, though. Yeah, like this, this, okay, you know what, I, I, I'm gonna go out on a limb, I think DS is like one of the most, like, well-rounded when it comes to new tracks, like, I agree. Like, they, they got like a lot of cool shit in this game. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it again, I feel like GameCube, DS, and Wii, that's like, when they were hitting on all the cylinders. Yeah, that was like, track design. yeah, that was like the trifecta of fucking clean boys. And then 7 and 8 went a bit too linear for me. Yeah. 7 has some good tracks, though. Like, I, I, I will always stand by Shy Guy Bazaar. I think that track is awesome. Yeah, Shy Guy Bazaar is pretty tight. Oh, yo, I tricked it! Oh, shit. 
The blue shell went for Daisy, not for me, bitch. Get out of here. Shit, DK, you cunt. I saw you throw another blue shell. I don't know if you can say that on Twitch. Wait, can I not say that word on Twitch? I don't know. Can we look that up? Twitch TOS? Like. I can, I can try. I know uh, another uh, YouTuber I watched did get in trouble on a platform for saying that word. Well, he didn't say it, but he said something that sounded like it. Oh my god! What am I doing? Can you say. Deserved. Twitch. <laughs> say what on Twitch? <laughs> A lot of, like, the first couple uh, ones I've seen on Google are from Australian people. <laughs> on Twitch. So what's the consensus? Can we? Uh, you can get banned if you don't have the mature audience set to on. Well, so you just need to do that. You need to have it set to mature audience and then it's fine. You just can't say slurs. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And I don't think the, the speed one counts. Well, I don't have the mature audience tag on, so I'll stop. You should be fine. Okay, yeah. Just make, yeah. <laughs> I think that might be a YouTube thing where you can't say it on you can't say it on YouTube. I think I'm not sure at all. Oh well, <laughs> they're gonna be really upset when I upload this VOD. <laughs> right. I think it's like an automated thing though, because again, like where I heard about it was like the dude said a made-up word that sounded similar, and he got in trouble. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, it is what it is. I don't mind. Yeah. I don't that know wall how that works. But... Yeah, that wall was like, I'm sorry, Rob. Don't worry about it. I always forget how big this track is, like in whip, because they made it a lot thinner and I'm eight. Or at least they made it look like more condensed. Yeah. They made it look smaller. Can you stop making the dog bark, please? <laughs> mm, dog does not like Mario Kart. The dog's like, no, I don't like TikTok clock. <laughs> I always fall off. <laughs> the idea of my dog trying to play a DS <laughs> is just hilarious. Yo, I'm going to get your dog to play late. He's going <laughs> to love it. <laughs> well, the dog will probably do better than me at Professor Layton. Yeah. I'm so bad at those games. I, I try so many times to play Layton, and I just... I can't. You tried to play him? Yeah, I've tried Professor Layton. I just, I, I'm so bad at it. I'm That's dummy. Fair. You're not dumb. I can't Which one, solve. It's the, like I will. It, the first one is the puzzles are a lot harder in the first one than the other games. Okay, but like, so, I, I also inherently don't like puzzles anyway. That's so, fair. so like. Because all of them make me feel dumb. Like, if you ever see me try to play an Ace Attorney game, I save, like, every 30 milliseconds because I'm scared. Like, <laughs> I don't want to lose a single point. <laughs> and it's like, Rob, you have five of them. You're allowed to make mistakes. And I'm like, no. Because if I make one mistake, the whole game is going to tell me I'm bad at video games forever. And they're gonna make, they're gonna surprise you and make it's gonna be like, actually, that was your one shot. Restart the case. You, you, you joke, but like that's what my brain tells me. I know in one of the games you could there was a bad ending. I'm not gonna say what it was because spoilers for a game. But one cases in one of the games has like a bad end. I do have a question so, about that though. So it is that bad ending canon? Uh, I can't really talk about it. 
it's just yes or it, no. It, uh, no. The good okay. the good ending of the case is canon. Okay. Dude, every time I have to present something I save before it, I get it. Yo, Kristen gets it. You get fucking nervous. You're like, I yeah, think this no, is it, but Ace Attorney <laughs> is like very rigid in how you play it. So like, you can't you can't just be like, oh yeah, this is it, and like I got it, because you get nervous and you're like, okay, but what if the game wants me to nitpick every little thing, and it does nine times out of ten. <laughs> Yeah, I always press no matter what. I don't care. I always press before doing anything. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I'm not saying you don't press them. You always press, obviously. But what I'm saying, what we're saying is like when you present something, y you're like pretty sure it's the answer, but like you're going to save first anyway because you're scared that the game is going to be like, actually, you needed to do this other thing right before it. Mm, so yeah, I, I forget you can even save. So I just go with my gut. Yeah, press everything and sometimes you get hilarious stuff. Exactly. Just like Great Ace Attorney. Which, by the way, okay, so no spoilers for that. But I, I do want to talk about that game a little bit, if that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I haven't made any progress since we blast all. Uh, are you still on the first case, then? Oh, no, I'm on second case after um, a deduction. Oh, okay, I gotcha. So, <clears throat> that... I'm, I'm gonna be real uh the first case is a is like really long like yeah it dragged on and, and i'm not saying it's like a bad thing because it's like but it's like a little it's a little bit too much of a good thing you know because like it's a really good yeah. case but like it just at, at like hour four i was just like jesus mm -hmm. why am i why am i still going <laughs> uh yeah Chris, Chris, that's fair but there's also other people here and i've only gotten the case too oh yeah with, with Kristen, yeah it, it, Kristen beat the whole thing already and that's and that's Aww. that's cool but like, i'm on case three or no no i finished three and i'm on four um so I'm almost done with the game. Uh, and then I'm going to just hop into the second one right afterwards. God, fuck. I hate when this game does that. Mm -hmm. but, that wasn't uh, spray green shells. But uh, I will say, like, mechanically, uh, Great Ace Attorney is, like, kind of slow in how it dulls out mechanics. Because... Even in case three, you're still getting new mechanics to play with. Oh, really? I was yeah. noticing because I had kind of noticed that because like I wasn't used to being taught mechanics in the, like the second case. Like I'm still being taught mechanics. Yeah, it, and that goes into case three as well. And I, yeah. I, I'm assuming I haven't played far into case four. Like I'm still literally in like the first conversation of case four. Um, but I'm assuming. By this point in the game, I've learned all the mechanics, and I'm just like gonna have a fucking gay old time with the with the rest of it, you know. Maybe it's the kind of deal where like the second game like is more like just using those mechanics in more cases instead of having ones. Yeah. Which From would what be I've nice. heard, like four, five, and six love going gun home mechanics. Oh, four, five, and six, uh, or at least five and si five, I can speak to. Um. Almost every case had, like, something new going for it. And, like, it's it's not a bad thing, per se. <gasps> Excuse me. <clears throat> but I can see why people wouldn't be a fan of that idea, you know? Yeah. I feel like in games, I don't want to feel like I'm constantly learning. Like, I want to just play the game. Yeah. See, with 5, I at least, I enjoyed the story and the characters enough to where... And plus, that was, like, the first Ace Attorney I'd gotten into in a very long time. Because um, I, I played the originals on DS um, when they were, like, new-ish. Uh, and then I was very bad at those. Um, but, uh, and then with Dual Destinies, I was like, oh, hey, Ace Attorney is still a thing? Question <laughs> mark? Yeah. Oh, More Spirit of... Uh, Spirit of Justice's new mechanic wasn't wasn't made you irritated. Uh, what what was the new mechanic in that game? I it's like the pool, right? Yeah, like a, I remember hearing it was some kind of psychic related thing. 
Yeah, like the the whole point of that game is that you're like uh I don't think it's Quran Village. I don't think it's there, but like it's No, a, it's like the country the like like religion or whatever is from. Yeah. Like go there and all cases take place there. It's called the Divination Seance. Gotcha. Sounds culty. I mean <laughs> I mean, what is religion? <laughs> yeah, fuck, you're right. Is it, religion or is it more just like... Because, like, they don't... Do they have a god? I forget. I need to... I is Spirit of Justice good? Like, I don't I hear heard, anyone talk about it. I heard mixed things. I heard some people like it, some people don't. I know Ted from uh, Brain Scratch didn't particularly enjoy it. And... His, like, review on it, on uh, GX, is, like, weirdly, like, thorough. <laughs> like, how detailed he gets about, like, here's exactly why I don't enjoy it. And, like, people in the comments are like, you're just a hater. And it's like, did you miss the whole, like, ten minutes where he explained his well-thought-out opinion? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, you're sort of viewing the last moments of the victim, basically. And you have to figure out what they were actually seeing or feeling... And it was so tricky all the time. Gosh. Yeah, that's fair. It sounds like would... it's sort of, uh, it's sort of like that, like what, what was it in five, the mood matrix or whatever? It sounds like that, except you can see it. I don't, I don't know if that's an apt comparison though. I've only played the original trilogy and greatest attorney. Once, once they make a trilogy two, you can play that. See, you know what they'll do is they'll do 4HD and then, like, a collection of the two 3DS games. Would they? I don't know. I really hope it's a, just a trilogy to make things e Oh! You know what they could do instead? You do four and then the two investigation games. <gasps> that would and, be good. And then you do five, six, and the crossover with late. I don't know if Capcom owns the rights to the crossover. I think Level 5 does. I mean, they could work that out. <laughs> yeah, but Level 5 isn't in America anymore. I mean, they can work that out. <laughs> <laughs> we we live in a world where Steve from Minecraft is in Smash Bros. Yeah, because, but both the creators of Smash and Minecraft are still around. <laughs> That's fair. This is an okay, that's an okay comparison. I found the Moon Matrix a little easier to understand. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying is like, Moon Matrix just seemed simpler to understand. Whereas Divination Seance just sounds like we added another layer to it for no reason. Uh, let's see. Oh, hell yeah. Here we go. This is, this is a banger. Just a bunch of bangers here. Let's go. Okay, How, when do you unlock the ability to use all the cards as all the characters? Uh, I think that's some like that's like mirror mode territory. Ah. Uh, and what about that. what about Rob? Also mirror mode territory. I think he's Man. one of the last ones you unlock. Man, Mario Kart DS sucks. I don't want to play this game anymore. And then gonna, you can't pick gonna... you can't pick your characters in mission mode so. Oh, they set that, right? Like, each mission yeah, it, just gives a you set, a character. It's just that character, and it's always a default card. That makes sense. No, not the Mario Wiki. I want the Super Mario. Wait, which Wiki is the good one? There's two Mario Wikis, and one of them is good, one of them is tough. <laughs> I think the Super Mario Wiki is the good one, Yeah, right? it, it is, but it, the URL is just Mario Wiki. Weird. <laughs> yeah, Kristen's like, yo, give me a uh, Investigations combo. Let's go. Oh. What's up? Okay. Rob... You have to get a gold trophy in either every Nitro Grand Prix Cup or every Retro Grand Prix Cup. Well, I'm getting a star or better, so. But that means, like, 
basically you have to have gotten every gold trophy that I've read. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm doing No, but that. I'm saying, like, you're not going to be able to play him in Grand Prix mode because you're going to be done already. Oh, what? Or, no, depending on, you'll, you'll have, like, one set of four cups you can do him with. Because it's not get every gold trophy, it's get every gold trophy for either all of the new tracks or all the retro tracks. Oh, so, well, I'll get him for four Grand Prix, then. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, that's not, um, like, great, but that'll be, like, a cool way to end it, you know? Yeah. Waluigi is getting a gold trophy for every 100 CC retro cup. So you're going to unlock Waluigi. Yeah, so you'll unlock Waluigi again. All right, that makes sense. I'm cool with that. And then... How long hurt. is it? Ah, okay. Oh. My nose itched. Sorry. That's fair. What? I'm, oh. I'm glad it was fair. I, my <laughs> nose itched. I, I, don't, I don't know why I needed to... to <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't unfair that I had to itch my nose. It sounds like that um, you'll unlock each character's second uh, part after you beat this cup that you're on. Okay. That'll and be nice. And then once you beat either 150cc special or lightning, you unlock four more of the character. Sweet. And then you have to have uh, you have to have a gold trophy in every single cup to have all carts for all characters. Oh, it, that game! The game just gave me a freebie. Mm -hmm. It was like, yeah, you should have gotten bit by that, but you're you're chill, dude. Don't worry about it. There are 432 combinations for character and cart, not including try guy. Hell yeah. EQ drivers only drive their characters first, so they won't pick any of the 32, they'll just pick one of their three. Can we talk about how, like, kind of dumb that is? Because I'm pretty sure 8 does the same thing, where, like, characters only get, like, basic parts, usually. Yeah, like, like every CPU. character in 8 has... Yeah, like, I think the CPUs in 8 have certain car parts they're allowed to use. That's dumb. Just randomize it, it's funnier. It's already yeah. Mario Kart. It's not serious. Mm, you haven't met the Mario Kart community. Okay, okay. You know what I mean, though. Like, yeah. to the to the majority of the 30 million people that are playing 8 Deluxe right now, uh, I guarantee most of them do not give a shit. Mm -hmm. That's fair. I think in, um... Ah! It, it's not like the same in the Wii, because in Wii, carts are... not. You don't know character has all the carts. They only get the ones for their weight class, but I think, like, this could use, can use any vehicle from their weight lines. In this one? No, I thought I think no, it's in just Wii, all in Wii, in Wii. Oh, in Wii, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Wii, like, uh, a character can only use there's, like, there's I want to say, there's six cars and six bikes per uh, Wii. Gotcha. Out of, out of those, like, what 36 vehicles, only like eight of them are viable. <laughs> <laughs> is, is okay, correct me if I'm like wrong here, but like, is Mario Kart Wii like the brawl of Mario Kart games? Like, it's like heavily that, modded, yes. but it's like kind of goofy. Yeah, and there's only like one thing that's like viable. Because mm -hmm. in Wii, the only like Almost everyone uses either Funky or Daisy. I feel kind of bad that, like, Funky was broken because he was my favorite. But now it's well, like, oh, I'm, I'm picking a top tier. Like, you know. Well, everyone picks top tiers online. <laughs> oh. Everyone picks Funky or Daisy. It's fine. Is Rosalina it's good? It, uh, let me check this stop. I should just keep the Mario with you. Yeah, just <laughs> keep that shit going. Ah, oh, shit, my nose.
I forget, because each character has, like, bonus. Like, they'll get a couple extra points in a certain stat. Yeah. That's why Funky and Daisy are busted, because they have bonus speed, and speed is the most important thing. No, why are you, you sick bitch? <laughs> okay. You oh, yeah. Fun fact, sick fucking up. puppy, you fat, plumber <laughs> looking ass. You don't even have a job. You're Fun a game fact, developer. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't fun. even make the games. He doesn't. Yeah, that's right. He just hires his shitty friends to do it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Oh! I totally sniped her. Whatever. The, you saw that. That that should have counted. I was looking at the Mario Wiki. No, not you, but like oh. anyone watching. Rosalind just had three speed stat, which is one lower than Funk. So, like, she's arguably, like, worth it, then? Um, what does Funky also have? Funky, the only other thing Funky has is off-road, and then Rosalina has some handling and some mini-turbo. Oh, so, Rosalina's such a good Finally. Good. Good, DK. Thank you, DK. What a Fun good fact. boy. Celebration doesn't matter at all when we, like, just playing vanilla Wii. Because there's a, a thing where if you hold, if you're at a standstill and hold brake and gas, you will you can build up just a mini turbo at standstill. So acceleration doesn't matter. Oh, so you could just like charge that up real quick and then go? Yeah, it only takes like two seconds to charge up a mini turbo at, st at standstill. So it's always better to do just that. Well, shit. Now, now that I know like the dark secrets of Mario Kart Wii, like I wanna, I wanna like min max that game. Yeah. And like everyone, like a lot of people use CPGP, which is has like 200 plus tracks, and that has some extra game modes like 200 CC. And there's a mode called Item Rain where like random items will just fall from the sky and land on the floor. Yo, that's pretty hilarious. I love that. And they're working on a um, essentially tournament mode called Knockout, where like every race, the, the person in the last gets uh, eliminated. Ooh, that's actually that's really good. And it comes with a little, it comes with a thing where um, if you get like it rewards of getting first by giving you an item, like you have a button you can use in races that lets you have get an item whenever you want. So oh, you can nice. only get that by getting first in the race. Oh, or I see. Points. So you still yeah. are rewarded for doing. Yeah, Krista, dude, popping wheelies was so fun. It really yeah, was. It really is. That's also partially why bikes are OP. Is because you because the wheelies make you go like a couple more miles consistently faster. faster. Yeah, you. It just makes your top speed a little faster. And then inside inside drifting bikes or what everyone uses just because they're easier to control. Oh. Bowser, you bitch! <laughs> and there's more maneuvers you can do with them. Whoever designed Rainbow Road on DS is, like, the coolest track designer in all of Mario Kart. I like that they reused the, um, spiral from Double Dash for some reason. I don't know why. It's a they good idea. Can. It is. It also works a lot better in this game than Double Dash, where you were always flipping off. Double Dash is a slippery ass game, though. Let's be yeah. real. Yeah, and the boost panels make you even more slippery. I'm pretty sure, just from how when I played it, it feels like boost panels make you more slippy. You 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 remember the fucking stream though, right? Like how? Yeah, I clipped it. Yeah, like how often I was like losing my shit over how awful Rainbow Road is in that game because of how slippery the game is. Um, to answer your question, Kristen, the only Rainbow Roads that I've ever been remade i guess are super 64 SNES and... 64 and then three the, the 3ds one is in tour so it's just those three that have been remade yeah i think the only reason the 3ds one is in tour is because tour uses seven as a base for its engine yeah is that like confirmed or is that like something uh... people found out by digging around I think it was just heavily, like, people could tell that it was 7. It, it just feels like 7. 
Yeah, and the fact that it uses a lot of 7 and DS courses. Yeah, that makes sense then. <clears throat> you know what would be tight and... is if uh, Mario Kart 9, they have... Okay, so instead of unlocking the spe like a special cup that's like the all cup tour or whatever instead of that you get an all rainbow cup tour and it's that like all the great. rainbow roads in one race or one like grand prix yeah i will then, say for nine the rainbow road that is getting remade is gba because that's the next one in line yeah, and is, that, is that one good though i think it's fun it has a banger song it also does. has paper mario wrapping. oh they're gonna take that out though yeah, they are. You can't and have that. For people who don't know in chat, um, in the background of DJ Rainbow Road, you can see the floating, like Peach's Castle floating on Bowser's climb part from the first Paper Mario. You know? And that's because Intelligent Systems made yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, they just reused. I think they reused a lot of assets from Nintendo. At least for the like the character uh, sprites are ripped from '64, and mm -hmm. then then that. I think the engine might be a modified Super Mario Kart engine. It might be. Who knows? I, I, I can say Super Circuit feels a lot better than Super Mario Kart. It's not as fucked up in its handle. Shit! Mm, I don't think stars are ever required, though. Yeah, but I said I'm going to do all the stars. Okay, okay. Okay, you know what? You can uh, choose three cards now. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have like a cleanup later for that then. Okay. Um okay, let's see what these new cars are. Oh, shooting star, I remember this one. That one was hype. Some characters have just recolor cars, I know. Oh that, that that's a combo <laughs> fucking, I used a lot. This fucking Lego car, look at this. <laughs> Light tripper. That yeah, one's alright. Daisy's is also the same car just the The cucumber <laughs> It's a I, think, I think this one and the shooting star with Rob was like my original combo. The cradle Royal dude. Cradle. The he's fucking. A he's a baby. Look at his diapy. <laughs> yeah. Wild Wildlife. Life. He's so big in that car. He's. Also, I love that they put, they put your emblem on the flag. Yeah, that's really cute. A traitor! <laughs> <laughs> Why is it called the Dragonfly? I have no idea. But yeah, some of the cards in this game are just different vehicles. <laughs> oh, Bowser's is a fun funky looking one. Hurricane. Yeah, it's the fucking plane. That's so cool, though. Yeah. Too bad it sucks. Speed. It has max speed. It really does. And then, yeah, hers, hers is just a red a light tripper. Yeah. They tweaked out on Daisy. The, the stats on this one are not good. Am I right? Like, uh, yeah, they're pretty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are bad. Oh, and then, my God. Hell yeah. I hate that they call it this. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with it? Cassidy, you know what's what? wrong with it. The drag you know. bomber? I don't get No, I'm, I'm genuinely don't know. This isn't a bit. I don't know what the problem is. It just, it's a little fucked up to have, like, a tank and call it the bomber. I mean, I guess you're right. It's a little fucked up. <laughs> Kristen, lol, I forgot some of these. Dude, yeah, I good. gotta play as this fucking tractor. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not gonna... That, do you remember what Waluigi's are? No, I'm not telling you. Uh, I think he has the standard one, obviously, but his special ones are... Isn't it like a crane and like a three-wheeled bike? Yeah, yeah, they're really cool. He just has a crane, like one of those, like, I don't know the name of the actual vehicle, but the ones with the big claw on it. Eh, the shooting star isn't great, right? Like, I know it's supposed to be balanced, it's all but right. like, yeah, it's like, look at this. The B dasher is just slightly not as good in the other stats, but it has max items. Yeah. Yeah, Waluigi, like, Kristen, it's like a three-wheel bike, like motorcycle. Yeah, the B-Dasher is pretty good. I, I, I'm i glad they always bring B-Dasher, because it's in 7, 8, and Tour. Look at... Oh, okay, hang on. 
Look at this. The shooting star is barely better than Mario's st standard mm -hmm. in terms of speed and excel, but his standard one is so much better with weight and items. <laughs> the stat balance seeming great. Oh yeah. The, the steam liner, streamliner is what I used as a kid a lot. Yeah, you know, I'll play as that one. That's fine. Let's go. Daisy burning <laughs> out. Good. So weird to me that this is. I don't like that they make this nest track three laps because it makes them insanely short. Yeah, but like, that's how they were in the original. No, they were five laps in Super. Wait, really? Yeah, every track was five laps in traditional. Some might have been four. It's kind of funny how like. Super had all like things like that, but like no one talks about it. So, yeah, I think it's just because a lot of people like for a lot of people, the start of the Mario Kart series is 64, not Super. Yeah, a lot of people don't even remember Super because like no one played it relative to 64. Yeah, I think 64 did better like sales wise and stuff, and it's more um, iconic. Let me check, you have Mario with you. Super Mario Kart. I know the 64 as a console did worse than the Super NES, but I'm not oh, sure about well, the sales. Oh, well, well, right. The sales of the console itself, yeah. Oh, no, do not zoom in on the page. Sales. Super Mario Kart sold. Uh, it's the fourth best selling Super Nintendo game. At 8.76 million copies as of December 2009. Hmm. So almost 9 million. But I don't know if they're consider if they're counting virtual console games. I doubt they oh. are. Oh, yeah, I doubt they are. So I don't, really think, nine I don't think Nintendo ever tracked virtual console sales, or at least never released no. those that data publicly. I don't think they have. <laughs> DK is shitty Jeep. Okay. Um, so Mario Kart 64 sold about one mil better in total. Okay. But that's the 2014. Okay, but here's the thing, right? I think more people, I, I would, y y maybe someone could fight me on this, but I feel like more people played Mario Kart 64 than owned it because of its four player multiplayer. Yeah. That's a definite. Uh, yeah. possibility. Apparently, it's as of 2007, it sold five and a half million copies in just the U.S. Jeez, that's pretty good, though. Yeah. <laughs> Krista, now, now that you said it was a Lego cart, I can't unsee it. It's mm -hmm. hilarious. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> There's a right under the sales is a paint from merchandise, and I'm looking at this remote control, these remote control cars. <laughs> pretty funny looking. <laughs> They're pretty silly. What is this car supposed to be? Is this like a sport car? Yeah, or I think so. Okay, because it doesn't look like that. It looks dorky as shit, which is perfect for Luigi. They kind of reference it in 7 with the um, Triple 7 car, where it, it's just, it's a similar paint job, but it's, it looks more like a sports car. Fuck this game. Mm, don't, don't have sex with the game, please. Do what I want. I'm a grown adult. Fuck! What's with the items this time? Why are they going fucking ABAP on me? Don't worry about it. Fuck. DK, if you don't throw that behind you, if you throw that behind you, I'm gonna lose my shit. Okay, thank you. 
code waited for the fucking pixel that I was not available. Uh. I'm gonna send you the pictures of these RC cars on Discord. Are they, are they goofy looking? Yeah. Doing things with a touchpad instead of a mouse is not fun. Fuck you, Yoshi. Shitty dinosaur. I forgot I made Chi a steak. Are you sending those on Discord or? Yeah, I'm. I'm working with. I'm. I'm. I'm on my laptop. Give me a second. <laughs> not send them in the order I wanted to, but whatever. Alright, I'll, I'll take a look at them. Is there a specific order I should look at them? Oh, no, I sent them, I just sent them in order of, like, what I thought was the funniest, the least of most funny, but it's whatever. Wait, there's a, an official deck of Mario Kart 64 playing cards? Why? Mario Kart people had a lot of weird merch in Japan. It really did. Well, merch in Japan is always like a fucking grab bag of... Yeah. Like, you, sometimes it's trash, and then other times it's like, why the fuck did you make this? <laughs> oh, yeah, there was official, like, Mario Kart 64, like, a tiny figure, and they came with their cart you could buy. Mm -hmm. I know there's, like, YouTubers who have those, like, it, like unopened on their walls. Is it bad that I, like, still have the tasted smell of that chili dog G fuel in my nose? When'd you drink that? I... It was funny. No, I... When did you drink that? Yesterday. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if, like, you recorded that video and then waited to upload it or something. Oh, Kristen asking, uh, was this the first game with retro cups? So, no. Yes. Well... But, well, technically. Uh... Okay, so Super... Or Super Circuit on GBA had retro tracks, but it was just Super Kart, uh, Super Mario Kart tracks. It, it had all of the Super Mario Kart tracks, but they were re-textured uh, to be the backgrounds of Super Circuit tracks. They basically just remade that game and then added new tracks on top of it. This is, yeah, essentially. Like, uh, I'll give an example. Like, um, the Traco Island courses, like, one or two of them have a sunset, sun, whatever. What's the sun the sunset track? What what's the name? I don't remember. You know, know what I'm I, saying. I never played Super Circuit. Sunset thingy. Anyways, it had all the super NES tracks, but DS is the first one to have like a collection of multiple games tracks. Yeah, this was the first one to like actually organize them into retro tracks, so which was like pretty like this was the first one to do it like the right way, quote unquote, in my opinion. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Fun fact about Super you Circuit. Seemed little, the... You seemed a little hesitant <laughs> there. <laughs> cool that they included all the SNES tracks. I think that's fun. No, okay, yeah, it is cool that they included all the SNES tracks. I'm just saying, I like this idea more of like yeah. organize. Because okay, so they had four Mario Kart games before this one, right? This was five, so it was cool that like they were able to organize them by like. Uh, SNES, N64, GBA, GameCube, like in that order, right? So, yeah. it it was just that was a cool concept to me, you know. I agree. Someone's gonna hit one of those, right? I like that the Mario Wiki has a thing where they have a little marking for if an article's been featured on the website. That's interesting. I like it was on the front page. Yeah. I think like, it's it's, it's, it's cool. a lot of things like Yeah, it's just a thing a lot of wikis do where they'll have like a daily article for people mm -hmm. to read if they want. Yeah. 
Ooh, I wonder what the daily article is. Oh, let me check. Featured article is Super Mario Land. Oh, nice. Mario Land's tight. Community poll. What, what's the question of the day or whatever? How do you feel about online multiplayer and Mario Party titles? If there's anyone answers... If there's any answer that I don't like it, those are bad people and should be banned. There's a lot of... There's there's seven different responses you can put in. And, and what are those responses? Um, online multiplayer makes Mario Party games more enjoyable and more enticing for it and should be included by default in every game in the series going forward. Yes. Having online multiplayer in Mario Party is important to me, but I am okay with it being added in post-release updates. I enjoy online multiplayer Mario Party games, but I do not consider it essential to the game, and its presence or absence does not affect my choice to purchase these titles. Uh, I would prefer that Mario Party games do not have online multiplayer options, as it takes away from the core focus of the local multiplayer experiences. It, how does it take away? <laughs> how does it uh, take away? Three more. I, I see online multiplayer as essential to join Mario Party and feel Nintendo should make it free and usable even to those who do not have an even subscription. Um, I don't know about that one. While online multiplayer is a step in the right direction, it would be even better if Nintendo took steps to allow online players to capture some of the experiences of playing in the same space as others. I don't know what that means. And then the last one is just, I don't play Mario Party and do not have an opinion. <laughs> I, I like an opinion. <laughs> I, I'm going with I, it's important to me, but if they have to add it in a, an update, that's fine. Yeah, that's why I voted. That's one of the least voted ones. I I think one the first one where it's like it should be a default in everyone, or the one that's like if they add it in an update, that's okay. Like I think that's that's yeah. where I'm at. I'm I'm fine with either of those. Yeah, the, it being default is the most popular with ha like fifty percent of the votes. Good. As it should be. Because, like, having it in there is not a bad thing. <laughs> You're just getting objectively more ways to play yeah. your game. Also, there's a Did You Know section on the front page, and it says, according to Steve Mails on Twitter, Dixie Kong's ponytail is an actual tail moved to her head as a result of wacky evolution. I fucking hate that. Apparently I hate her ponytail every is word tail. that just left your mouth. Like, I'm not, I'm not Steve Mails. I, 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 Cassidy, I understand that, but you still <laughs> said it, so I'm upset. <laughs> so, in Mario Luigi Partners in Time, if the player uses the baby drill while inside Yube's belly before defeating Sunny Side, Yube will visibly show pain until the player comes up from the ground. Great. Yo, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the cucumber, dude. Cucumber. Cucumber. And Mario Wiki Cucumber. has a newspaper? Why? Who asked for that? <laughs> Name one fucking person who asked for the, the fucking newsletter for the Mario Wiki. They have some really like 2007 art as their banner for this. I don't think this is being updated. Well, I don't think it is. Fake news. I want to read the fan. They have a section called fake news. Why? Why? For fictional news. This, I'm going down a rabbit hole. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I do. Something I do appreciate is that all the wikis for like a bunch of Nintendo franchises are like, they're all partnered together as one big group. Yeah. And they're all like open content. Like you can use them to, for whatever you want. Am I allowed to talk shit if I don't reveal who the person is? Sure. Okay, so yesterday uh, I was in I was I was in a server, and <laughs> <laughs> all the people were talking about RPGs. Okay, and I said uh, that one of my favorite RPGs is Yakuza Like a Dragon because I really appreciate that we actually get a cast of characters that's above the age of fucking thirty, and. Uh, it's, you know, it's not often that you get an RPG with an entirely adult cast, you know? Yeah. And and someone chimed in. I'm not going to say who the someone was, but they chimed in and said that 
Oh, well, Mario RPGs count because Mario is an adult as well. I guess. I mean, on a very loose technicality, but like, why? No. It's it's still a game meant for kids. Yeah, it's still a game intent, like made with children in mind. You know, like, <laughs> like, I I don't play Mario games and like, wow, I really bond with, you know, <laughs> the struggles of his mortgage. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, Mario. You know, you could take Mario seriously. There's nothing wrong with taking Mario seriously, but like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't compare Mario to Ichiban, <laughs> like you know what I mean. Like I don't know, it's just it, it just rubbed me the wrong way, and I like really don't understand that idea. Like I just because Mario is an adult, technically speaking, does not make him relatable as a character because I'm also an adult. <laughs> like but Luigi is very relatable. Yeah, Luigi's relatable Italian because of. Me. <laughs> he talks Italian, speaks to me. <laughs> I mean that that whenever Mario and Luigi speak in Italian, that's how I feel at family gatherings. <laughs> like, like my, my entire family is talking about like, and I'm just like, uh huh, yeah. Damn. yeah. I can't yeah. believe Rob's family is Mario and Luigi. <laughs> Yo, I'm related to Mario and Luigi. <laughs> It'd be weird if we were related to just one, but not both. Maybe it's uh, like a weird half brother situation, you know? Like we're. Maybe. I like that there yeah. are still people who don't know Mario and Luigi are technically twins. I mean, I mean, yeah, but no, like no one describes them as the Mario twins. Well, I guess. I just think it's a fun little fact that in Yoshi's Island, it's confirmed they're twins. <laughs> Remember in Yoshi's New Island, where it starts with, oh no, the Spiegel fucked up. <laughs> That's not what? our kid. <laughs> the opening of Yoshi's New Island is the parents going, like, wait, these aren't our kids. We fucked up. That's hilarious. Yeah, Kristen, Yoshi's New Island, it... it it starts with the ending of the first island, and it's like the parents are holding up the kids, right? And then they're like, wait a minute, these aren't our kids. What do you mean, uh-oh, Kristen? What happened? Wait, they are? Yeah, yeah, they're twins. Yeah, Mario's just, he was born first. That's why he's the older brother. Yeah. <laughs> On a fucking technicality. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if that's a real thing twins care about, is the technicality of who was born first. There probably are some twins, but I can't imagine it's, like, a pressing issue for a lot. Yeah. I just know it, 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 it's a common joke in shows that have twins. Yeah. Like Zack and Cody did it a few times. I guess I didn't think they were twins. Whoops again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. It is weird to think about, though, because, like, they never describe them as, like, the fucking... <laughs> the fucking Mario Twins. <laughs> the fucking Mario Twins at it again. <laughs> if they just start calling the series Mario Tw Super Mario Twins, I'm going to get upset. <laughs> Why? It's it just sounds it. bad. It's going to roll off the tongue. I just, it just has a bad vibe to it. I don't know. Just like, ah, yes, the twins. Like, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> like, see, you're laughing because, like, you know it sounds stupid, but. It has something of the twins from Barn on Academy, but they're Mario and Luigi. <laughs> I'm thinking, now I'm thinking about some of those things in Oron, but it's Mario and Luigi, and I feel uncomfortable. Anyways, Dixie Kong's ponytail is a real tail. Shut <laughs> up. You're the worst. That Steve Mail said it. And I... <laughs> that Now that information is just real. I mean, we could just say it's not canon because it's not spit in the game. I mean, 
I guess. He knows like, words. It isn't final. He doesn't work on Donkey Kong anymore. Yeah, but he made Donkey Kong. Did he? I don't remember what Steve Nails did. I made Mario, he made Donkey Kong. Easy. Shit. Oh, he was a character. Steve Nails was a character designer for the first two Donkey Kong, don't you? Yeah, exactly. He, he created Dixie Kong. Okay, never mind. He has authority on this. <laughs> yeah, he probably has a bit of pull on like what's going on there, you know? He designed Mad Jack and Puff Toss in 64. Remember Mad Jack? That dude's fucking weird. Hard ass boss. Maybe Mario or Mario 64. Uh, DK 64 is a game I should play. I would again. It's a good game. Because uh, I, I, I remember liking it. Yeah. People are like pretty down on it, but I remember being a tiny as hell. So. I like that Steve Mail still does like art of Donkey Kong. That's fun. Like, he does artwork for, like, the anniversaries and stuff. What happened? Uh-oh. I just realized how bad I, I fucked up. I feel like this card's not doing you any good. I just realized how bad I fucked up, Cassidy. What happened? I have to redo that entire Luigi section again. What do you... Wait, how far I... back did you just go? An entire oh, Grand Prix. Great. Cool. Well, longer stream, everybody. Wahoo. Oh, yeah. Yahoo. <laughs> Who's excited for Monkey Ball? <laughs> I didn't mean to say the Monkey Ball one. It just came out of my mouth. <laughs> Yahoo. Yahoo. I just love the way he says it. It's so derpy. <laughs> <laughs> He's just happy. He got to the gold tape. Uh, oh, Kristen said, as someone who is uh, friends with triplets, yes, yeah. they joke with each other about who was born first. Okay, gotcha. Wait, does you really have a Mario with phone? <laughs> you really was clickable on the Mario with phone. I was like, does you really have a Mario with the entry? <laughs> <laughs> Why would they? No, it just goes straight to Wikipedia. <laughs> Ukulele has not been featured in a Mario game, but they were in the same Nintendo Direct as Tipping Stars. <laughs> Is that real? I have no idea. I made that up. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't think was, I don't think Ukulele was ever in a Direct. I I was just making fun of the fact that oh, a lot okay. of uh, a lot of like fan wikis reach for how shitty their trivia can be sometimes. Like, like if you go to the Crash Wiki, some of the shit they spew in the trivia section is hilariously awful. Trivia section on the Mario Wiki because, like, I feel like the Mario Wiki is like the best wiki just because it makes sure it, everything it says is legitimate. I also love that for every like game they have on the Mario Wiki, they have sections dedicated to what references it makes to other Mario games. It's very in depth, but I think and that's just also, because of Mario as a franchise, you know? Yeah, it's a it's it's the biggest video game franchise or one of you know. In terms of Mario, like, yeah, Mario is more recognizable in the world than Mickey Mouse, so that's something. I mean, it doesn't help that Disney hardly uses Mickey Mouse, so. What do you mean? He's in those funny shorts. Great. They are they are good shorts. You have to admit. No, they're good shorts. I just. <laughs> do, who's getting hype on those except Twitter? You're right. They got they made a whole Disney Plus strip dedicated just to make more of their stories. Wait, really? Yeah, they have like the original like the shorts by that team, but then they made the Wonderful World of Mickey Mouse, which from what I know is a more where it's just more stories under a new name. Great. Because they weren't making them for a while, and then probably. I'm not surprised Disney's like okay with those sometimes. Because they, they love to mock Disney the most. I mean, <laughs> maybe it's because Disney doesn't care about Mickey Mouse that they let them get away with it because no right. one's watching it. <laughs> it's funny when people are like, oh, Mickey Mouse is going to be, he's going to be like, what a, you know, like his like license is going to go in a few years. But people always bring up that technically it's only Steamboat Willie Mickey that's going to be for years. 
Oh, that's true. Every, isn't every, it? Yeah, it's only Steamboat Willie Mickey that's going on the three years. No, no other Mickey design. Because Disney tweaked the rights to make it feel like, oh, they're separate Mickeys. It, it's not the same Mickey. It's, fu it's funny because, like, I, I've talked about this with people all the time when, like, people are like, oh, Mario's never going to be on another platform. And, and they're like, oh, but, you know, eventually the copyright and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, but here's the thing. They'll only have access to, like, 8-bit Mario 1. Like, they'll they're have, not gonna... They'll have access to his Donkey Kong design. Yeah, whatever. But, like, you know what I mean. Like, they're yeah. lit and it's literally only Mario in a vacuum. They won't have access to the entirety of the Mushroom Kingdom, you know? Like, yeah. So, like, it's not a thing that's going to work out for them, you know? Yeah, and, like, already games make reference to Mario. Not, not much is going to change. Yeah. And, and, like, for example, uh, in fucking Banjo Nuts and Bolts, um, the. I, I think Lord of Games in like the first cutscene makes a reference to yeah. Mario. He's like, you don't have nearly as many games as that Italian fellow. Like, yeah, he's like, you don't have any, you have no, nowhere near as many games as that Italian gentleman. Yeah. By the way, Nuts and Bolts is a good game. People trash on it too much. DK, you suck I'm ass. not fun enough, but it's okay. I, it's just car building is very tedious for me. Yeah, no, it is extremely tedious, but that's the thing, is, like, the game itself is not bad. It's just, you know, it's not Banjo. Like, good Banjo. Yeah. Not Tui Banjo. Yo, you want a random Mario 64 pack? Yeah. Uh, a section of its Rainbow Road music is used in World 9 of New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Cool. That was a random fact. I liked it. Yeah. If that was a I Twitter post, I would like it, but I wouldn't retweet it. Huh. Apparently, Luigi, Peach, Wario, and Toad's voice clips from the Japanese version of Mario Party 64 were reused in Mario Party 2. In Mario Party what? 1 and 2. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I know 3 changed up the voice lines for everyone. That that explains why Peach sounds so like weird and fucked up in Mario Party One and Two, but she sounded normal and everything else. Yeah. Did you know Mario Party Four was the game that uh, set in stone a couple of the characters does like modern designs. What what game? Uh, Mario Party Four. Well, that's cool. Like character designer, like the big character designers came in from Mario Party Four, and they were like, "This is what the characters are gonna look like now." Because I think it was the first Mario spin on the GameCube, or one of the first. That wasn't Smash. Mm -hmm. Yo, I'm getting these triple nans all the time, feeling good. <laughs> I like the trivia. <laughs> Mario Party 4, there's only two bullet points. <laughs> Why one of them is there is just, only two? One of them is the game uses pre-rendered cutscenes. Is the only Mario Party to have pre-rendered cutscenes, which we all love. And then <laughs> the second one is just pointing out that um, on the Bowser board, Koopa Kid has some mistakes in his dialogue. Oof. He has, like, typos. Also, I did look at those RC cars. Oh my god, I did even better this time? Let's go. Um, nice. Uh, the, I'm looking at those RC cars you sent, and god, Yoshi has seen the end of days. For real, though. Also, I just found the most cursed box art. It's pre-release Mario Party 4 box art, but all the characters are N64 renders. Oh. That's weird. Also, the 4 is like... The American flag colors were stars. What? I don't know. I'll send it to you. Bowser is definitely like his Mario 64 design. 
waiting for that upload. I'm I'm calling your your tit. I will do no such thing. Yeah, I stamped it. That that's great. I like how half of that art does not look appropriate. Yeah. One of my I don't know if this is like biased, but I like Shit. five spot art a lot where it's like it's all the characters around a giant globe. I think that's a fun box art. Yeah, that's cool. Can we talk about Seven's box art? I'm not a fan of Seven's box art. The one where it's like they're on like they're on the Venice map and then it's just a bunch of characters standing around in the background. It's the uh it's the one where Mario looks like he's uh like falling downward but he's like got his fist up in the air. Oh yeah yeah, I think I know the one I'm talking you're talking about. Seven was the microphone, right? Or was it six? Six and seven both have microphone, but in seven it's more it's more in in um let me put it this way. Seven had a microphone state. Ah. Uh. Six. So it was more used in seven. Like there was microphone mini games in six, but it was mostly a standalone thing. Oh my god! In this lap alone has been three fucking blue shells! <laughs> Also, yeah, I see the one you're talking about. It's like Mario's like falling towards the camera with his fist up, and then Luigi's doing some weird anime jump. Yeah, that one. Yeah, and then there's some weird like fish eye effect on the background. Yeah. <laughs> Through a fish eye lens. Yeah. Seven came out November seventh, two thousand five. Oof. One of the last Nintendo GameCube games. Oh, this was the last Mario game released for the GameCube in Europe and Australia. In Japan and North America, it was Strikers that was last. Wait, Strikers? Really? Yeah, in Japan and North America, Strikers was the last. What was the last? Well, I'm assuming she got interrupted by something. No biggie. Oh my god, Toad like flew to the side of the wall? What the fuck? Hello? Where is this place? Like, like I'm seeing giant Yoshi ice sculptures. There's like a Mario one over here. Like, where is this supposed to be? Is this just like a snow land is but is it based on a game or sorry about that i'm back oh welcome back got interrupted yeah that's all good um what so, was I saying? uh i i i was talking about how i'm wondering where this is is this level based on a game or anything because like i think it's just a snowy place yeah i guess but there, there's two snow tracks in the where There's this one, and then there's the glacier one that's like surrounded by mountains. Hmm. That was a weird thing they did for a while, where they were insistent on having like multi, like at least for this one, they were insistent on having two snow tracks for some reason. Out of everything. I mean, it's a nice theme. I get it. Yeah, it's just weird to me. You could have had like the first half be snowy and the second half be icy. Yeah, that's fair. And then the car racer won't mention also had two snow tracks for some reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the racer without a name. Yeah. I'm sorry, Cass. It's fine. I haven't played it in a year. <laughs> I, I know, but like you enjoy it. So like, you know, yeah, you know, given, I like given the... the circumstances, I'm sorry that like it is what it is, you know? Yeah, well, it's fine because the companies that made those games are not are just working on the one IP now. So. All right, almost done with this one. You know what though? Like, even though I had to redo it, I'm doing a lot better on these. Like, the, like the poggers. <laughs> Pogger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Cassidy. <laughs> Mario Party 7 contains text that is considered inappropriate in the United Kingdom. 
Didn't eight also have that problem? Eight, eight, eight. Uh, in the train board, it Kamek uses the word spastic, which is a slur in the United Kingdom. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, what was with Mario Kart and just throwing out slurs in the UK? Uh, Mario Party, you mean? Whatever. But yeah, well, I don't know if seven is a slur, but in seven, it, uh, Toadsworth uses the word bugger. Is that? Is that? Like, he says, what a crafty bugger, which I think is, like, not a great word. I mean, you could look it up. Bugger. Bugger means a heretic. I don't know. Uh, I mean, oh. so I guess it's not, like, a bad word, but... Yeah, it's not like a... It's, it's just playing. Red shells are fucking useless on this track. Jesus Christ. The oh, walls are... Yeah. The walls are so fucking narrow, and they keep falling off the ledges, and... Seven was the one where... Um, so, you know how in older Mario parties, like, if something was color-coded to a character, it would be, like, that character's color, you know? And not a yeah. generic color? Yeah. Seven was the first one to get rid of that. Gotcha. That's Where player one is always red, two is blue, three is green, four is yellow. And then they've kept that. It's even like that in Super Mario Party. I get it. There's too many characters to have them color-coded. but it's fun. I like him being color-coded. Because, like, for a little while, Luigi, of all things, was uh, was blue. Like, he was not green. Yeah, because Yoshi, Yoshi was, green. was green. Yeah. Yeah. Which and is Waluigi weird because... black, I think. Yeah, Waluigi was like black. Uh, Daisy was like a uh, orangey color, right? So yeah, Wario was purple, I think. I think DK was either brown or yellow. Oh, Give me a bowl. I always re I always remember that because the soccer mini game in four, uh, Waluigi soccer ball was the only one that was like an actual soccer ball because the spots are black. Yeah. Let me look up trivia of Mario Kart. I mean, Mar yeah, Mario Kart games. That's the Mario Wiki where you know how most wikis like each section you can collapse it so it you can like open it or close it. Mario yeah. Wiki doesn't have that. Oh, it's just a long wall text. Um, Mario Kart. Yes. Let's look up trivia of this. Look up trivia for this game. Uh, this is this and Mario Kart Tour, the only Mario Kart games where Lakitu does not start the matches at off as a referee. So Lakitu isn't doing the three, two, one, go. Oh, that's interesting. Um, if the game is played on the original DS, Mario says Yahoo on the Nintendo logo screen. But if it's played on anything else, he says Here we go. Like a, you mean like. If, it, if the game detects if it's, like, an emulator or something? No, if it's on a DS Lite, a DS Lite, 3DS, or Wii U, it says, here we go, on the Nintendo logo. Oh, but on the original, he says Yahoo? Yeah, on the original gray DS, he'll say Yahoo. That's so weird. Why? A couple of Nintendo games do that on DS, I think. Really? Yeah. Um, Mario Kart DS is one of the few Nintendo DS games with a language plot, meaning that if the in-game language, except Japanese, is the same as the Nintendo DS is, uh, wait. Oh, it means the, 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 oh, so in Mario Kart DS, what you set your console's language to will always change Mario Kart, the, the, the game's language. Oh, okay. That makes sense. But in, ja in Japan, the game is always in Japan. That makes sense. Uh, DS was region free, right? Um, it doesn't mention on trivia. No, I I meant in general, DSs were. Oh, is the DS region free? Yeah. Yeah. I want to say the it Nintendo is. DS and DS Lite are not region one. 
Yeah, the DS and DS Lite are region free. I think the D I think maybe the DSI is region locked, maybe, going off this. Hmm. Uh, oh yeah, start, someone's saying starting with the DSI, they started doing region. That's dumb. Well, I saw a thing about notable mistakes in DS. <laughs> in early in early versions of the game, the instruction booklet there's a word it has the word perform, but they actually put a P instead of an O, so it says perf -per perm. Perf -per 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 -perm. Uh. And then the other one is just on another page that they actually put uh, two Bs instead of one B. Where did these the other games? What a weird. Apparently in the beta kiosk demo of this game, Donkey Kong's voice clips were his 54 voice clips. What? Bring them back. But the, <laughs> they're not in the final game. <laughs> Kristen's uh, like, this is some interesting trivia. Yeah. What the? Wait, Rob, you're not going to believe this. The Rambi uh, Rider is based off Rambi. Whoa, 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 hold <laughs> on. You're, you got to slow down, girl. That is way too hot for this trivia section. <laughs> if beer the, throws ain't bringing you trivia, I'm bringing you the fucking trivia. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, this was this one's fun. The brew, uh, the war, war one of Wario's cars is based off his car from Wario Land Four. Is Wario Land Four? Oh, okay, yeah, I can see that. That makes sense. Um, now my mind is truly blown. Whoa, the Poltergeist Four Thousand is based off the Poltergeist Three Thousand. No, <gasps> what? I like how Egad. I love the idea that Egad was <laughs> making another Poltergeist, and he was like, "Maybe I should just make this one a car." <laughs> oh, all the bosses from sixty-four Mario sixty-four DS uh, appear in this game in mission mode. Yeah, that's probably because they're reused assets for a yeah. sixty-four the, DS. The only one that the only one the only boss from sixty-four DS not in this game is King Womp. I mean, that makes sense. That would be kind of hard to make in a cart game. Yeah. Many of Donkey Kong's voice clips are recycled from Jungle Beat. For the other cards, I'm not seeing anything else for the other cards. Um, oh, uh, Waluigi's Excavator cart is, I guess, based on Foreman Spike's ex Excavator from something called Mobile Golf. What? It's a Mario game in Japan that doesn't have Mario characters. Gotcha. Oh, they okay. So on the Game Boy Color, they made a Mario Golf game about just the human characters. Gotcha. But this was Japan only, and I guess Foreman Spike had an excavator. Um. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else for card references. References in later games. Nintendo Monopoly, don't do this shit. <laughs> Whoa, shit, Cassidy. Ah! No! Took my mushroom! Oh, yeah, in 8 Deluxe, um, the Luigi's Mansion Battle Course uses DS Luigi's Mansion music. Huh. Because if you didn't know, uh, in Double Dash, the Luigi's Mansion Battle Course just has Bowser Fast for music. Weird. I think it's funny that I guess nowadays in the market like in the, like I've heard people don't like uh AIDS battle mode even though we were all begging for it. See that's the thing. It's because they like they made it team based, like again. And it's like we don't want that. Let us turn well, that no, off. Not every, not every mode is team based, I don't think. Or what it, what there's some fucked up thing with it, you know what I mean? Like There's not many know. options. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, I, mean, I know we for sure like it was always team based no matter what. Yeah, we. Oh my but God, I think it's TK's fucking teeth in this game, dude. I think it's just some modes in um, eight deluxe or only team like Renegade Roundup, mm -hmm. which I like, but everyone else hates apparently. I like the idea of it. If they brought it back, I'd probably you know try it. 
Then again, I've never been big on battle mode in general, to be honest. That's I never cared. Mode. It just sucks that, like, when 8 came out originally and it had a shitty battle mode, I was like, I was kind of like, well, why'd you fuck it up in the first place? <laughs> like, why'd you, why'd you try to change it, like, yeah, so much? No. I think they just didn't have time. Yeah, that, that game was actually pretty rushed, right? Like, they wanted I'm, another I'm Mario fine. Kart at, like, you know, because the Wii U was what it was. Yeah. You know? And okay. probably making one in HD cost more time and money. Yeah. Even, hell, even in Deluxe, most of, like, almost all of the, Actually? Yeah, every battle course they made for a Deluxe reuses assets except the Wii U Town. Yeah. Like, Luigi's Mansion reuses um, Twisted Mansion's assets. Yeah. We, the most egregious, obviously, are Battle Stadium, Sweet Sweet Kingdom, and Dragon Palace are all just asset reuse. Yeah. Although I think I think Sweet Sweet Kingdom is a fun battle over here. I think it's got a... Dragon Palace is fucking whatever. I I really don't oh, like that uh, one. Oh, Kristen says something in the chat. Can you read that? I I had to glance oh, over, but yeah. like this track is a little much for me. Uh, I appreciated driving around on Earth's underpass since I was so familiar with it from tune, but that was kind of it. I can see that. Oh, for like the battle mode in uh, Deluxe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, there was two more I was missing. was Urchin and Cat. And, oh, yeah. Lunar Column. Lunar Column was fun. Like, yeah, obviously they're using the Skybox from Rainbow Road, but otherwise it feels like it's mostly new assets. And it's fun having a ballerina that's low grab. Or it's anti grab at all times. Yeah. They brought back Shine Thief, though, and I, I always love me some Shine Thief. Shine Thief is fun. And it's nice to have references to Sunshine. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, like, I remember back in, like, like in the GameCube Mario spin-offs, there was a bunch of strong Sunshine. Shit. But then mm -hmm. Galaxy came out, and they kind of pivoted from Sunshine, which is understandable. And something I noticed kind of about with Mario Kart is that whatever, whenever Mario Kart comes out, it kind of has, like, vibes of the previous mainline Mario Kart. Yeah, they tried to, like, cram it a little bit with, like, more of whatever people are currently familiar with. Yeah. Which, I'm not, like, I'm going to be real, I'm not a huge fan of that idea. Like, I, I really don't like when the new game comes out and that's all we're going to reference for the next five years. And it's like... Yeah. They kind of didn't do it with Odyssey, really. Odyssey came out, and then they just ignored it. Oh, well, no. Uh, I mean... I mean, kind of, yeah. But, like, you have, like, Pauline and stuff now, you know? Like, yeah, but, like, none of, like, the new, like, the, like NPCs were used. Yeah, that's true. Because, like, Kiantas are still used. Nokis are still used. Which is really weird, because, like... I mean, I, I get it that, like, 3D All-Stars is a thing now, but, like... Or was a thing now. Uh, but like, yeah. I don't know. It's just it, it feels weird that you're like, ah, yes, Noki references, even though. Yeah, Noki I always forget and... even exist. Yeah, like. They're only in two levels of like uh, Sun Train, I think. They're only in Noki Bay and Peanut, uh, Peanut Park. Yeah. But, you know, they always get references and stuff, and there's nothing wrong with that. I like them. It's just weird that, like you said, Odyssey didn't get really much of anything except like Pauline, really. So, yeah, and I well, like Super Rush is gonna get that uh, um, the new Dawn asset reuse. Yeah, that they haven't mentioned at all. Look, God, I can't believe I spent fifty dollars on that game. What do you mean? We had a lot of fun with it for a week. Yeah. That was what? Like a solid 10 to 20 hours we hung out with each other? I guess. I don't that, know. That's worth 60 bucks. I had a lot of fun. Not for me. Not for a poor person. Oh, f shit. Don't, don't. I mean, you say that. I don't even have a job anymore. So like... You're right. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, it was fun, but like, I don't know. I feel like it doesn't have much of a lasting, like, play, like any reason to play it now yeah that's the thing is like i'm if if nintendo comes out with another game like a sport game where it like it looks really rough uh like 
like it'll be low on content but oh we're gonna make a bunch of content later like i'm mm -hmm. not gonna buy that because like yeah because like it'll be fun but like you said ah, my nose is fucking going ham on me uh so like it'll be fun but like I don't know. Like, I'm tired of them making games like that. I just, I want, like, a full game yeah. at the start, you know? Like, I don't want it to come out earlier for your fiscal year shit. I don't care. Like, I yeah. just want it now. They, oh, I, it's, a, it's a thing now where they always want to have a Mario game. It's not, even if it's not ready. Well, I mean, they've always done that, though. There's always been a yearly Mario game, spin-off or otherwise. Yeah, but it, I don't think it's always had to be in the summer. Like, I feel like they're daily, like, back in, like, the 2000s, their yearly game usually was at the end of the year. Yeah, that's true. Like, Mario Parties always came out in, like, October or November. Which is a really weird time to do that. Well, I know why they do that, but, like, you would think that would be the summer game, right? Like... Yeah. Then again, you do have Superstars coming out, and that has, uh, and that's a... That's late uh, October. Yeah, that's late October, so... And, uh, Super Mario Party, I think, was November. Right before Smash came out. <laughs> and it's weird that, like, that was announced at, like, E3, and they're like, Yep, it's coming! And it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> what? You're doing the thing we wanted? Kind of? Not really? You're, like, making a comeback, but, like, don't call it a comeback. Like... Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. So, I don't watch, like, TVG really anymore, but, like, if it, it I'll see, like, the thumbnail on YouTube. And not, you know how the thumbnails work now, where they'll show you a small preview of the video, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, I hovered over his one that was, like, top five best and worst Mario parties, and it showed Super Mario Party. And I know he's not saying that's best, but I think it's weird that he would consider that one of the worst Mario parties. What? I, 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 it might have been just like a thing before his list, but like I'm thinking he might have said Super Mario Party is one of the worst ones. Wait, Which, did you not huh? watch the video? No. Well, I don't know. I just thought it was weird that I saw it at all. I figured that wouldn't be brought up because it's such oh. a middling game. Yeah, it's a pretty middle of the road. I don't know. Probably uses footage from it and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, that that preview thing is, like, literally seconds worth of a video. Like, You're at right. most. So, like... I just remember because it was him, like, zooming in on the 10 point part. So, it's, like, just going off how I know, like, he edits videos, it seemed like he was criticizing a part of the game. Maybe think it's him saying it's a, wor a worse one, you know? Eh, maybe. I don't know. It was just something I had in my brain. Oh, Kristen says he he did. I was watching it, it was before the, the stream. Jeez, why would you... the worst? There's no way that's one of the worst. Well, not yeah, because the... there's literally like three 3DS games to work with, and then two of the car ones. There's your five right <laughs> they, there. They fucking set themselves up with that. Are you <laughs> could even are you could... and then there's the fucking advance game. Which yeah. didn't even which didn't even have fucking multiplayer. You can play the mini games when you're trying. All right. <laughs> I've never played Advance. I just know it's like a weird adventure game, but you have to roll dice to move. And that's and if you run out of dice, you have to restart. There's like quest lines and shit, but like stuff. Oh wait, do you think it's called Dragonfly because like the back part looks like wings, like the little trail bit? It's a tractor. No, I know. I, I, it's a tractor. That's all I know. Oh, Chris, I'm saying like he would essentially that uh, the videos. Yeah, top five, bottom five. It was the first one of the bottom five, so he was saying it was the fifth worst Mario Party. Okay, if you know what, if you could make an argument for that, I could see that. But that means he's leaving one of the 3DS or car games. I don't know if that's. <laughs> okay, you know what? Yeah. Well, like, then again, like, okay, wait, what's the what's the Mario Party game where it was like the whole thing was the uh, the Fire Emblem looking strategy grid? Oh, mode? Star Rush. Okay, Star Rush. Was Star Rush bad or? Uh, I've heard like the like the actual like board part is fun, but like there's there's a lot of just throwing shit at the wall and seeing if gotcha. it's 
Also, you can only play as Toads in the board mode. Gotcha. That's stupid. I hate that. <laughs> and then they just reused it in Super Mario Party. And I think, I honestly think Partner Party is a little more fun than the regular mode. Super. I like Partner Party. Par Partner Party a lot. Partner Party. Partner Party. Like, well, that's the thing, is, like, I could, I could still see someone making the argument of it being one of the worst ones in in the context of it's not as good as, like, GameCube or N64 games. Yeah, that's fair, but, like, I still think, like, at least I think the mini games are really fun, so that's what keeps it up for me. Yeah, that's true. I do like the mini games a lot in that, in that, uh, in that game. And GameCube still knows how to make good mini games. Which, yeah, thank God they have something going, cause yeah. like, <laughs> cause like, holy shit. I, and were the mini games in that one fun? They just look very generic from what I've seen. In what one? Uh, ten. Uh, ten was fine. I, was I don't it? really like ten to be honest. Well, no, like, I was just asking if the mini games themselves were good. Uh, they they were all right. Like, I I would give them a solid like okay. Gotcha. I I would call ten like the color splash of Mario Party games. Yeah. Like, like it was big. better than the one before it, but damn, it wasn't I, much better. Mm, see, I kind of like nine, so I don't know if I I can agree. I I, I despise that car shit, so I don't care. But ten <laughs> like, has it too. Yeah, but ten has like the Bowser mode, and the and the mini games are better in my opinion. Like. And I like yeah. the maps more. Like I don't. I like the mini games in nine. I don't know. I just I didn't like nine at all. I just nine I is also, but nine, nine also has like the new suit visuals for most of the board so. Yeah, like I don't know. I just nine really just like was a stinker for me. And then they fucked That's up. Fair. They didn't put Luigi on the box art at first. Well, they yeah they added him in the background and he's like they, three pixels. They patched him in. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Superstars is good. I have my concerns, but no. I think it'll be solid. I think it'll be just a solid game. It, it's not going to blow anyone away, but like, you know what? You're going to have a good, damn good time because it's like classic ass Mario Party, you know? I th yeah, I think most of it looks fine. It's just the one thing I'm worried about is that it looks like battle mini games are just regular four player mini games now, which is a bummer. Hmm. Although, arguably, it's kind of a problem in Super that you, you're you always playing, like, 1v3 or 2v2 in those games. True. Oh, Kristen, like, so, we, we, we pivoted to talking about um, Superstars. Yeah, it's Mario Party Superstars, which, you know, like Cassidy's, like, cautiously optimistic, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. I want it to be good. I really do, but I have... It, they really did though. They they just took the fucking top one hundred concept and they just made it good. Like, <laughs> yeah. They're just like, oh shit, we could add boards and bam, we we got it. It's also interesting that they're not doing the exact same one hundred mini games. They're doing different ones. Is the selection in top one hundred good or bad? I don't know. I never played it. Um, from what I've seen, it's pretty good. There's a couple weird choices, like rank to rank from eight, which is just make a flag go up. That is a weird choice, yeah. They made it a touch screen mini game. Um, that's fair, Kristen. I don't have nostalgia for like the N64 games, but I do like, like I played two as a kid, and it's fun. Oh, see, I have tons of nostalgia for fucking the 64 games. Like, two, uh, Mario Party one and three are like my jams as a kid. Yeah, all my nostalgia is in like four, five, and eight. Yeah, see, that's where that's where a lot of like kiddos nowadays grew up. Y'all got the GameCube as your classic. I I, I will always defend eight. I feel like eight's a fun. Thing. It's a bit BS sometimes. I I like eight. Who who shit on eight? Who People hates eight? Shit on eight because of the motion controls and some of the boards are lame. I mean, okay, I can I can understand that. That's kind of fair in my opinion. Yes, yeah, some of the mini games do not work with the motion, but like. I... <gasps> oh! oh. oh. 
That was not fun. Fuck that. Okay, I won. Kristen, <laughs> Yo, that's, that's not bad, Kristen. Uh, seven and six are really good. Five is yeah. like a weird one, but I'm nostalgic for it. See, that's the thing. Uh, I I kind of, since I grew up with the N64 games, there was a period of time where people were like, oh no, uh, four was like good, five was okay, and then six and seven and eight were kind of stinky. That's like, that used to be the consensus on those games. Which is dumb because six and eight are great. Seven, yeah, I know. I know, but like now, now the conversation's like totally changed and people have come around on those games. Yeah. Okay, Although, whatever like, video game. I fucking hit. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like people in their 30s and 40s are still kind of people on the GameCube ones. They're like, I only want the N64 one. What do you mean? I like the GameCube mm. ones. No, not you, but like you're still in your 20s. I said people in their 30s or 40s. Okay, but I'm like almost 30. Like that's. Okay, but you know what I meant. You were still like in high school when the GameCube ones came out, so you still like like them. That's fair. Well, actually, no. I was in I was in high school in 2007, so the the Wii was a thing. Okay, you were in middle school. Yeah, that's Whatever, true. Whatever, you know what I mean. I was in middle school when the 3DS was new, so. Oh, don't tell me that. <laughs> I fucking I'm a sentient pile of dust every time Hold someone on. mentions it came their on, age. Yeah, I was I was 11 when the 3DS came. Shut up! Or, I hate I hate 10. that I know that. Was, was 3DS 2011 or 2012? 2011, because it was a year before the okay, beta. Okay, so I was 10. Or 9, depending on the month. A decade ago. Oh, stop. It gets worse. <laughs> I still vividly remember, like, going to, like, an eye doctor and my mom's talking about is getting a 3DS stage. <laughs> <laughs> it's the 3D. Is it? I just... I don't know. My eyes are still good. <laughs> Even Kristen's like, wow, now I feel old too. Damn. Why am I a baby? I'm 20. You're like, you're like six. I was born the same year the game came out. Don't tell me that. I hate that. That's I was born a few months, like five months before the game came out. <laughs> I wasn't even a year old. Oh, stop! <laughs> Yo, Yochi. I feel weird when I, like when I talk about playing video games as a kid because I started playing video games very early, like because I got a GameCube when I was three. Yeah, I had a Genesis when I was three, so. Sure. I was I was <laughs> a, a ninety six. I had my hands right now. I had, Sorry. Uh, I was a, a very I was very late to the Genesis in 1996, but God damn it, I played Ooh, the shit bro. out of it. Yeah, it, for me, like I know a lot of people talk about. Oh, my first time seeing video games was when my older sibling was playing. For me, that was I was the older sibling. <laughs> I was playing Mario Party Four and Monkey Ball at the age of four. I was playing Sonic One Streets of Rage, baby. That is such a weird. That's still interesting to think about why, like, that, like, how we started playing games is very different. Because I started when 3D was already an established thing. Well, see, that's the thing. I mostly grew up, like, my f my early years were Sonic and, you know, like, Genesis 2D, right? But yeah. after that, I went to N64. So, you know, it, it was like... I mostly grew up on 3D because after that I went to PlayStation yeah. and then to Dreamcast. So like, it, it was it was all over the place for me. But like, I, for the most part, I grew up with 3D games, and that's why I vastly prefer 3D games over 2D games. It's I funny, actually. Oh, go ahead. Uh, uh, Kristen was saying, Rob, I think we're close in age, but my first system was a GameCube and GBA shortly after. Yeah, I feel that. I think I had a. I, I think I had a GBA first. But I could be wrong. Um, I was, what was I gonna say? I also did grow up playing on N64 just because when I was at my grandparents' house, that was all they had, and I wasn't on super much stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's how. That I, that's sense. like why I have nostalgia for like Donkey Kong 64, for example, or Mario 64. Even though I played them way after the. 
I remember Dude. as a kid, like, Donkey Kong 64 kind of freaked, freaked me, little kid me out a little bit with, like, its lighting and stuff, and, like, K. Rule freaked me out. You know what, though? Like, DK64 was low-key, like, a little bit of a horror game. Like, <laughs> it had some creepy shit going on, you know? Yeah. I think it's just that everything, like, whenever you were in, like, a room or anything, the lighting was very dark. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a bright room in that game. Yeah, that's true. Alright, what do we get? Come on, hit us, baby. What do we get? Yeah, double star. Double star. I wonder what's written on that pack. You can play as Waluigi. Sick. Uh, didn't get super into gaming until college, uh, so that was late Wii, general, like Wii U, DS era. Oh, you could skip it on second viewings. There we go. Oh. That makes sense. Mario's render there does not look great. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> Some of the DS Mario renders look a little funky. All right, so you know what? Here, let's do some of the mission modes now. Uh, let's go. I wonder who that is in the middle. <laughs> uh, that's Chie holding her arms up and her head forward <laughs> yelling steak. I mean, it kind of, it does kind of look like it'd be like a fat person with their head down. So. What, you calling Chie fat? No, I'm saying it not Chie, but... What are you trying to say? Trying to not Chie. I meant like, <laughs> like someone my size. <laughs> Why do I have so many notifications? Jesus Christ. Nintendo's tweeting about Apex Legends, I don't care. Well. <laughs> I'm just gonna save state at the start of this so I don't have to pause and redo it every time. I, I, I appreciate that they put the barriers on the map because there's barriers behind you at the, at the start. They decided to put those on the mini map. Game, keep missing the mushroom. Not a game. You did it. You had 19 seconds left. Oh yeah, the missions have star ranks too. Yeah, should I go for triple star on the missions? Uh, it might get really hard. I can't remember. Wait, have you, you got a okay. little more lenient in this? Look this up for me. Do I get anything for doing that? Because if I get anything for oh, it, I'll do it. I think you have to do something to get uh, the, there's a secret uh, world seven. Uh huh. I think you need to get at least one star. Okay. That's the final boss submission mode. Actually, I'm not gonna say it for people who haven't played the game, and they'll see when we get there. Never. <laughs> <laughs> never. <laughs> You're never getting there. Mm. I just needed to see if there were, like, more coins at the end. I don't know. Oof. Okay, you, you need at least one star on every mission to unlock um, level seven. Okay, so just at least star or more. Like, what, what yeah. I'm already doing. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not so bad. Destroy all ten item boxes. You got it, dude. Oh, these ones these ones are my least favorite because then they'll put them in more open areas and it's help. Because like I remember the Waluigi pinball one stuffing really bad because they're just moving everywhere. No! Oh, well. Uh do you get star for completion? No, uh, because there's also letter rankings, so yeah. Star Star is like if you did really well. It's like S rank essentially. There's S, double S, triple S. See, I don't like this track, but I wanna live in this area. Like this is like a chill out <laughs> chill ass place to live. Yeah, it's it fucking does. I just want like a place I can vibe, you know? Uh, get the star and use it to hit five cheap cheeps. Why they call them cheap cheeps? Yes, I have no yeah. idea. 
Oh yeah, this one sucks too sometimes if you're going too fast. It's just hard to- oh, what? well. That was out of bounds. Dark Blue's out of bounds. BB. Yeah, it's just hard to- it, it, you don't turn fast enough. Well, see, my problem is, uh, when you reverse, it doesn't work like a normal car. Hey! You were too slow. When are they gonna put Sonic in this game? Oh, that too cheap moved on you. Fuck! Well. There we go. I think that was slower. Oh, no, no, never mind. What do you mean, slower? I'm the best. <laughs> I don't know, it just felt slower. I thought you got 19 the first time. No, I think I think it was the fastest one. Rob, you know what you should play after you beat Mario Kart DS? No, Cassidy, I don't know what I should play after I beat Mario Kart DS. <laughs> you should play Diddy Kong Racing Tinker. I'm good. It's not a good game. I'm good. It has the cheapest open cousin you've ever seen. <laughs> what the fuck, video game? I fucking I got that. I wish they'd bring this that one that state, uh, arena back, but I know they're never gonna because it's not a relevant reference anymore. Oh yeah, this one you have to drive backwards. Where are you going? Can't hit the walls. Can't hit the walls. Why? Are, what is this area like? Is that like? <laughs> what what is part this? of the house? <laughs> what what part doing? of the? <laughs> Why was that a mission? <laughs> Why was that a mission? <laughs> Why can you look back there but not anywhere else? I have no idea. Shout out to that dark blue skybox though. Chillin'. Collect all twenty mm -hmm. coins. I don't know. I just so there's coins in Wii, right? For like tournaments or like the coin runners mode. I think it's the exact same for his DS, just like not as compressed. <laughs> Oh, hey. Yeah, hey. I love that DK's punch in uh, in uh, the uh, mod that gives him his normal voice in Smash. Uh, he screams "Wah hey" when he does the giant punch. It's so great. I'm, I'm proud. He goes "Wah hey." <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's the mission? Uh, go through. Uh, oh, this one is you have to drift four times. Oh, hang on. Just let me. And get like a boost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that counts, I guess. Just to finish the course. Yeah, there we go. Just wanted to do it real quick. <laughs> now just grab it. Look, I went above and beyond. I did fucking five right now. Six. Seven. Eight. Look at that. Doubled it. I get triple S plus for that one. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do it again. Wait, are you doing it again? I only got an A rank. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what you get for playing in the mud. What is I that? Should... That's not any color of dirt I've ever seen. Is it sand? Yeah, it's like, uh... It's, it's like melted cheese paper. or something. I don't know. Like... It's parchment paper. It's parchment paper. <laughs> no, that's what the background is. Look at the background. Fucking oh, JPEG-ass yeah. looking backgrounds. There we go. Double star. We're good. What? Why is this like... 
Why is this so menacing? <laughs> I remember this kind of freaking me out as a kid. Yeah, this is like dark. You have more Mario 3 references, kind of. Those are just Mario 3 blocks. <laughs> but this is, again, at a time when it was cool to actually reference this. I think I thought it was the Sunshine mid-boss music. Well, dead. Done. Trips, baby. Trippies. He's drowning. Stay no one's gonna save him. <laughs> Cassidy. <laughs> He's uh, super fucking dead, dude. <laughs> no one can save him now. Oh yeah, this one you gotta break the crate. Oh, well, not gonna listen to what I just said. There we Wait, go. What? Oh, you break the crate. Let me... Hang on, let me drown Wario real quick. <laughs> Speaking of Wario, I've been like playing WarioWare Touch. One of the cheapest little I've ever seen. Also, like, they don't have a lot of concepts for the touch screen. Okay, well. This honestly might be my favorite movie track it, it's tough but this might be it why is this one it what does it for you i i just love the vibe and i love the layout but it's hard I, there's also um i love dry dry desert or ruins in um we mm -hmm. that one's really fun i don't know it's hard for me there's the also good tricks yeah again <laughs> kristen, kristen mm -hmm. like yo you dunked him yeah Dunkaroos, baby, remember those? I don't. I wasn't alive. <laughs> what? Those weren't around when I was born. All right, Cassidy. What? <laughs> You're doing your best, and that's what matters. It's like um. Drive Jurassic all the gates. Park. Welcome to <laughs> Jurassic Park. I wasn't alive when those were a thing. Shoutouts to the Jurassic Park movie, changing literally every character death from the book. Oh, Jurassic Park based on a book? You... You didn't know? I feel like I did know in the back of my brain, although I've never seen the Jurassic Park. Oh. I've seen... I've seen the Adam scene from the third one, and I've seen the lady getting fucking destroyed in the world. That was pretty funny, though. <laughs> she didn't deserve it, but it was, was funny. Yeah, it was funny. Do you know the one, the scene I'm talking about from three, where the dinosaur like Adam, Adam, <laughs> <laughs> Adam. <laughs> you know the scene I'm talking about? It's really funny. Yeah. Uh, Look at them taunting you right here. Yeah, they want you to know who's who's the. <laughs> I don't. I was gonna say some weird shit. I'm gonna not. <laughs> What were you gonna say? Please say. I, it. I welcome it. Like, I was gonna be like boss or mistress or something. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> my brain thinks up weird jokes. Leave me alone. Collect the 20 coins. I'm so glad they added this. What a cool fucking thing. It's fun. And the only time they've the only time they've used it again was when it was online only a Wii, and then a, the, there's like missions and tour. And even then, like that's kind of th those aren't not well, the same. Well, they have like race through the gates, but that's about it. Also, the gates aren't tires, which bums me out. And, like, they had missions in Wii, but they were, like, online tournaments. That's what they were called. Yeah. I know there's, like, mods where you can play them. There was also a, uh, an exclusive arena where you fought the top spin from Galaxy. That's cool. And it had its own song and everything. Wachacha. Wario. Numbered gates. Burr, 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 burr. 
Oh, Cassidy left. Goodbye. Is the stream still running? Are we good? Was it me that fucked up or was it Cassidy? Okay, cool. Hang on, I'm trying I'm I message Cassidy. It says she's online, but Oh. Are you back? Six power slide turbo boosts in three laps. So just do a race. Hold on. Uh, yeah, just do six power slide. Did I miss any missions? No, I don't think so. Yeah, my mom texted me and like, I called me and wanted to know if I wanted. I'm just for me and no missions to end. Robert's the Drift King. Dr more like Drifting. Wow. Cool. Funny. No, kidding. Wahey. Wow, hey. <laughs> Yo, Trippies. Let's go. Why is this so menacing? Why? Who decided that the. <laughs> Fuck it, this guy, like the bosses in this game are just gonna be the most terrifying thing. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> does that count? Oh yeah, it counts. That of course it does, Cassidy. Why wouldn't? Oh yeah, this one's hard because you have to snipe their uh, eyes. Open your eye, nerd. I love that all these boss arenas are the same arena, just sand or water. Well, oh, well. <laughs> he moved on you. Well, whatever. I'm just gonna redo it. That's it's a lot of time. <laughs> are there star rankings for the bosses? I can't remember. Yeah. Yo, the hitbox on the eye is pretty forgiving, truth be told. Yeah. It's just sometimes he moves on you. You know how it is when you're playing Smash when they move out of your attack? Yo, what if Irock is the last fighter? Yo, if Irock is from Mario 64 is the final fighter, I'm in, dude. <laughs> People would be extremely upset. I feel like no matter who they add it, people are going to be upset. <laughs> they died. could add, they could add Master Chief and people would be mad. Oh yeah, like, ah, Halo? Ugh, that's it? Uh, why you're didn't just you advertising add... a new game. Uh, why didn't you add Garfle from fucking <laughs> Garfle's Quest on Game Boy? Ugh. <laughs> Why didn't you add Spanky from Spanky's Quest? <laughs> Dude, Spanky needs to be a spirit. Let's go. <laughs> Why didn't you add 
fucking jelly boy. <laughs> <laughs> I kept telling Nintendo that Jelly Boy and Spanky would have been a great combo character, like Ice Climbers. Can we talk about? I don't know if you really looked at the Jelly Boy box art, but it looks <laughs> yeah. really bad. The, like the, the, where the jelly's coming out looks really bad. It, it really, it's it's not great. And it's just God. front and center on the Super Nintendo app. I'm gonna get this fucking item box. There we go. When are they gonna add Waluigi Pinball as a fighter? <laughs> what? The entirety of the fucking thing? It's just a sentient pinball machine. God damn it, Cassidy. It's like the hey. Daytona car. Daytona. Let's go <laughs> away. <laughs> let's run away. I mean, that would be the actual way to say it, but let's go away is so much funnier. <laughs> let's get away from these weird people. Ba Bowser's face looks kind of fucked up. Yeah, there's a reason they didn't, uh, they didn't spend a lot of time in this model. It looks like he ate a sour candy. <laughs> he looks like he got stung by bees. <laughs> Kristen is like, I wouldn't love Master Chief, but I respect Halo, Halo Legacy. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Is like, well, you know what? No, I am kind of a Halo fan. I'm a little bit of a Halo fan. Uh, not, I'm not like John Cartwright Halo fan, but like I'm a Halo fan, right? Is um, John Cartwright the Halo fan? Oh, John loves fucking Halo. He what? Yeah, he oh. he has a huge heart on for Halo. I did not know those. Uh, yeah, collect all 15 coins while avoiding the chomp. Jump. Uh, but yeah, like, I don't know. I, I, I would want Master Chief over, you know, first party marketing pick number eight, you know? Yeah. I, I would prefer Doom's player, but I know that's not as likely of a pick. Yeah. Like, I'd be down for Doom Slayer. I'd be down for Master Chief. I, I just, I want a character that's like really cool and isn't from something we already have. Yeah, he likes both, Kristen. You can like more than one series. No. No. I only like Tetris and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe fucking Gertru from fucking Pokemon didn't make it in. <laughs> Gertrude. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't play modern Pokemon. I like good games. Mm. I'm I'm being a dick. I'm sorry. I'm... You're fine. <laughs> Can't believe they didn't add Comfey. Good. <laughs> Don't say that. What? That's the name of a Pokemon. Yeah, but you can't say it. Okay. Well, they put it in Snap, so they still recognize it. Recognize these nuts. Mm, okay. I can't say Comfey, but you can say that. Yep. Cool. I'm being silenced. <laughs> I'm being oppressed. I'm being oppressed. I eat <laughs> new version of Cheerios, Oppressios. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I tried to get stylish. <laughs> Kristen's like, all right, all right. When I <laughs> well, you're never getting that coin. That coin is just getting my goat right now. I hope they add Pika Blue as the final fighter. It's just the the fucking final character is a one that doesn't exist. Yeah. You know what though? That'd be kind of tight. What if like the final character is from like a new Nintendo IP? <laughs> That'd be wild. I, the the final character is gonna be another arms rep, and it's gonna be some arms too. <laughs> Well, well, <laughs> da, 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 da. The, fi the final finder is going to be Luigi. Luigi? Like, yeah. Why? Why not? He can, he can warp and slide. Don't say that. 
Yo, we need a Hasbro rep in the game. Can we get Optimus Prime? <laughs> Can we get Twilight Sparkle? No. Did you know there was a My Little Pony Transformers crossover comic? Yes. The, okay, so from what I understand, the IDW, the people who make all those comics, are like legitimately all huge fans of the comics they make. <laughs> like, yeah, so. I, I, that makes sense. So apparently you get shit like that all the time and, you know, it just so happens uh, MLP and fucking Transformers are made by this same company. Yeah. I've never read the MLP comics, but apparently there is a lot of fan service in them. That's cool. Good for them. Although I don't know if they're necessarily canon. Oh. Okay, this fucking dog needs to go to the vet. I'm tired oh. of this. Also, there's over a hundred issues of the MLP comics, so... That specific series of MLP went on for eight, nine years? So... Yes! Okay, I don't never have to play this fucking mission again. Why is the screen chomps, like, lips white? Did it eat some cocaine? What's going on? Lips? Those are teeth. No, I mean, the bits uh, above its teeth on its actual body were, like, brighter than the rest of it. Oh... Weird. I think it was just I think it was just textured to have light in, that's all. Oh, you're just racing a person. <laughs> Guys, just pretend I'm Yoshi and I'm whooping Rob's ass. Rob, that's not the fast threat. You're gonna die. Never mind. You were saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh I yourself. see the... One more time. One more time. One okay, more time. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I was just going to say, I see. They're making you take the slower route, funny part. Yeah. Okay. And that was it's it. Interesting. It's interesting they made a track that has obvious slow routes that no one should take. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Is that Yoshi in the background? That like tiny white pixel? I think it is. <laughs> yeah, just, it is. He just his car ceased. <laughs> <laughs> they cut his they cut his engine when you cross the finish line. <laughs> Wait, oh, yeah, is this, this uh, is this a battle track from uh, fucking DS? It's from Double Dash. Oh, that's five. There's two. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this is um from Double Dash. What sucks though is that they don't use the uh, original songs for each arena. Every single arena in DS uses the exact same song. Oh, weird. That's a bummer. Yeah. It's really funny on uh, Twilight House. It's supposed to be like a haunted house battle arena, but it has this happy music over it. <laughs> Kristen's like, I recognize this. Yes. It's funny thing about yeah. battle mode because like everyone hates the Wii battle mode, but it has the most arenas. It has twelve because mm. it has six uh, new ones, and then it has one retro for every Mario Kart. Oh, this one's good. They don't ricochet. We're gonna be here for an hour. Oh yeah, Kristen, uh... Oh yeah, Funky Stadium is awesome. We Battle Mode is weird because it makes you play team mode, so it's not as fun, but like, the actual arenas are fun. Funky Stadium's a great one. I really like Chain Chomp Roulette. And Thwomp Desert. Those are good. Five, four, three, two, one. Damn, we don't get to see Luigi be sad. Nope. No sad weed. When are they gonna... Put the cucumber cart and smash. I still think it's a missed opportunity that they didn't give Funky as a echo for Donkey Kong. I feel it like really that was is. such an obvious choice. 
This is so fucking finicky. I hate this. Yeah, at least you found a, a consistent area. Yeah, Chris, this this one's really BS. It really is. This sucks, dude. God, fuck. I only gave enough time. Oh, no, wait. There you go. Ten seconds. Now I get to get it with a star. Which oh, you didn't. fuck. I forgot star rank. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get those extra eight levels. Got it. Okay. Come on, give me that. Right. Give me that. Yeah! Okay. Not only did I get... Watch... <laughs> I was gonna say watch it be an A. Oh, fuck. I'd be so mad. Uh, perform 10... Po 10 fucking power slide in one lap? What track is this? Um... Oh, it's this know. fucking nightmare of a bullshit. Alright. Mm, I think this is fine. Well, Donkey Kong doesn't think it is. <laughs> Tom Kong woke up and he said, fuck this, I'm done. <laughs> he got in his cart, fell back his sleep, woke up. <laughs> I got a dog here begging me to go outside. You'll go outside soon, bud. Okay. I get down. Banger alert. The song's good. It is a good song. I can't deny it. Why'd they pave this part of the wall but no other part? <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. Was well, that part of the wall just not secure? Probably. Yo, trips? What? Also, can we talk about how that highway goes nowhere? There's no way to get <laughs> off that highway. <laughs> That's my one problem. <laughs> Go ahead. You have to drive off, and then like two uh, brings you back to hell. Oh no. That's my one problem with the urban tracks, is like there's no way to get off the street. You could have just <laughs> had like an off street that was barricaded. Like how Moonview Highway, it goes from cliff to in the city, but there's no way off. So you're just driving under the city through your whole life. Oh. God. <laughs> Coin said fuck you. This track, I, the vibe it gives, gave me as a kid was not a good one. Like, this track's kind of freaky. It really is. This is a weird question. Is Dragalia Lost good? Does anyone play that? I've heard it's good, but like, I've never played it, so. You missed a coin, Rob. Yeah, I sure did, Cass. Where is it? You're asking the wrong person. If I knew, I would have picked you it up. You got nine seconds, bud. Well, I'll take this moment to learn. And I'll never find out. Oh! Did you go backwards? There might be a fuck you coin at the start. Can't remember. No, there isn't. I have no idea where it is then. Oh, there it is. Dang, is that it? Oh, no. Yep, that was it. Fuck I never went coin. in there. Damn. They said, hey, Rob, you're a bitch. <laughs> What's that Family Guy joke? It's like, oh, Reginald, I disagree. <laughs> I've never seen him. Uh, it's it's uh, it's a joke that like I think Britons get in drive-by arguments. They don't get in <laughs> drive-by shootings. Oh, oh that's awful. <laughs> uh, Rob, I think you're gonna be one out. 
Yeah, you're out. No, you're done. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh shit. Paper Mario boss. It really is weird that they adopted this guy from Paper Mario and they just kept him for DS and never brought him back. Yeah. Wait, is this... Okay, well, first of all, fuck that. Uh, I... Also, they changed his name? It's not King Goomba anymore? It's Goomba. Nice. I think it was on 64 DS as well. Oh okay, yeah, I remember this boss being hard as a kid, but it's probably easy now. Oh, there he goes. Oh yeah, you have to trail him because sometimes he drops the mushroom. I think this boss requires. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he just straight up cheated. Yeah, he's gonna cheat again. Not mm. if I win. He did it. Oh, he's. Oh my god, I, I fucking murdered him. <laughs> I'm so angry. He blew up. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. <laughs> like I, 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 I fucked up. He's dead, dude. Dead or wrong. All right. Well, uh, I, I guess that's it for this stream. I We're going to end on the murder of fucking Goomboss, dude. He's gone. <laughs> that's why he's never returned. <laughs> he died. He just dies in Mario Kart DS and then never gets brought back. That's great. Yeah. Never to be heard from. No one was at, no one went to the funeral. Oh, Chris, it's like, why did you ask about Dragalia? Uh, I, I asked because I saw it on Twitter last night, and I was just thinking to myself, I was like, do people play that? Like, I'm not saying people don't, but, like, are people, like, hype on Dragalia? I don't know. Like, it, it just, I never see anyone talk about, oh, my God, don't zoom in on Bowser's face, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, I'm going to cut I'm gonna cut it here, but, you know, th thank you, Kristen, for hanging out with us the whole stream, and thank Cassidy, you. thank you for joining me for... It's very I impromptu spe uh, the speech session of uh, I, I Mario Kart. Trivia. <laughs> I uh, I did the trivia. <laughs> I am um, Alex Bastian. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, that can't be accurate because I invented Mario. <laughs> <laughs> There's two Alex. <laughs> There's three now because if you're oh. Alex and, and I invented Mario, which Alex invented, then we're all Alex Fasciani. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to cut it off there. Have a good night. Good night.